You episode seventy four. Seventy four. I believe. Seventy three. No, I think we just did seventy three. Seventy four. Seventy four. That's I'm, big time. Dude. I'm gonna go with seventy four. Fuck it. That was my high school number. Was it really? They retired my jersey. God damn it! It's seventy three. Seventy three. That was my. <laughs> that was my college number. Episode seventy three. Seventy three. They retired my jersey. Damn dude. Also, they're like, yo, this guy didn't see the field once. Shit. First, one of the first guys to do that. Um. This What's weekend. Up, what you doing this weekend? This weekend, the 30th and 31st, I'll be at McGooby's. With who? With Tim Dillon. Oh, yeah. So that'll be good. He's That's gay. Tight. He's um, gay. April 1st, shout out to all our Indiana listeners. I'll be in Indianapolis at Morty's. April 2nd, Pittsburgh. I forget the venue. April 4th. This is a big one, dude. April 4th, What's come that? see the Matt McCusker. Oh, dude, stop, man. At Punchline oh, stop. in Philly. April 4th, Punchline, Philly. Uh, message us. We'll give you free tickets yeah. if you want to go. April 6th and 7th. April 6th will be the Comedy Shop in New Jersey with Voss. April 7th, the Newtown Theater in New Jersey with That'd be Voss. Fun. And then here's here's one I need. April 25th, Helium Comedy Club. <sighs> they gave the kid a fucking shot, oh dude. Oh, my God. Give me a headline shot. It's a fucking Wednesday, so Still, that sucks. But well, come to that. doesn't matter. McCusker will be on. Yeah? Yeah, for sure. That'll be fun. April twenty fifth at Helium. Buy tickets online now. That that helps me. Yeah, it pumps makes it me up. looks makes me look cool. That'll be fun. That's it for gay dates right now. Nice. I usually do them at the end of the show, but I have a feeling a lot of people don't make it to the whole way to the end. I checked you know? the consumption and uh, on iTunes on their like analytical platform, we have, we're like at like a ninety seven percent consumption rate. Okay. And a lot of I think the abandonment is just me. I listen to the first two minutes and I'm like, fuck this. I'm listening to an audio book. Oh really? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I do that a lot. Like sometimes I listen to the whole thing. Sometimes I'm just like, yeah, I don't feel like it. Yeah, there's some episodes. Even I'm like, nah. Sometimes I got to do it the day after. If it's like a day goes by, I'm just kind of like, whatever. So what's up, dude? Chilling, dude. I'm about to give some motherfucking shout outs, dude. Give a shout out. I'm gonna the, fix I'm the lighting. A sh- go ahead, dude. fix the lighting. I'm giving a shout out from the uh, from the Reddit board, the super secret Reddit board. C Doak. C Doc, dude. Yeah, but it's O O O C. C Doc. SP500, P Larkin15, and motherfucking Frankson. That's all I got right now. We're ready. Hot we got, cast, we got the fucking, we got the shit all good to go. Yeah, have you seen Frankson? Yeah, he's fucking huge. You he's show me his picture. He's fucking a big-ass yeah. boy. He's a big bull, dude. That's awesome. God damn it. This is a, this is a shitty, this is a bad, this is a bad start. start. Fuck it, keep it. Good. I watched, uh, I watched this documentary on Netflix about Conor McGregor. Whoa. Check it out. Is it good? It's fucking awesome. Nice. It makes him so likable. I love him, dude. I mean, obviously, he's already the man, but I mean, when you see, it starts out with him and Diaz fight, mm-hmm. and then it, it just opens with that, and then it flashes, and it's like four years earlier. So just four years ago, he was like living in his parents' house. It's really? crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fucking nuts. He's like real poor. He was on welfare. And he was a fighter, too. Yeah. Which is hard. He lived at his parents' house with his girlfriend... And all he did was train every single day. Like, yeah. hard. Yeah, he's the man. That's addictive, man. When you start doing that stuff, yeah. it's like, you get into it. And it's I did it for a little bit, and I was just like, I could see why people get obsessed with this. What did you train? Jiu-Jitsu and uh, <laughs> MMA. Or what's it called? What's the, the boxing one? It's like boxing but kicking. Muay Thai. Muay Thai. I did Fuck boxing yeah, and kicking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did jiu-jitsu and boxing and kicking. How's your kicks? I was fucking good, man. I'm telling you, I was, the it. guy wanted me. He was like, "You're a little bit old to like really fight," but he's like, "You could probably go to like tournaments and stuff." I was nasty. And you could beat up just strangers. I said, "Dude, I was I was vicious. I came in too hot though." He actually he knocked me down the one time. He TKO'd me. <laughs> liver, liver kick. <laughs> I was I went during, I was laid off, so I used to go during the day, and it was just me and him because he just opened his gym. So I had like full like sensei like just me and this guy, and he was teaching me how to do this shit. And then, like, one time we were sparring, and he was like, do you want me to, like, do it for real? And I was like, yeah, let me see what it's like. And, dude, just fucked me up in six seconds. Just uh. threw a couple punches. I took a couple, caught him with a left hook, and he came with a – he kicked me with his left leg liver shot 
fucking hit the floor. I hit the floor instantly. I was like, all right, all right I'm done. I'm done. Probably sounded like the grape lady. Just like, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, the dudes who know how to do that, it's on another level, dude. That if someone actually, is trained to fight, it's yeah. like, it doesn't matter. That's the one thing that makes me pretty pro guns. And people can do that kind of yeah. shit? Dude, it's deadly. Uh-huh. It's absolutely dead. And like, you never know that whenever I did that or since I did that, I don't even like try to pretend to know who I could beat up or not. Because like you go to one of those classes, you're like, all right, I can kick that guy's ass. I can kick their ass. You just have no idea. Next thing you know, you're getting tapped out by a girl. Hey, man. Sometimes a girl will grab your wrist, hit you in a wrist lock. You don't know what's going on. You tap. Dude, I thought we were past that. Everyone stopped and was just like, yo, bro. Yeah, you people probably, looked at me. You probably sound like the grape lady while she was giving you the I, fucking. Dude, I just, like, ow, ow, I just felt. Ow. Well, here's the thing. I was. It was like my second week. You're not supposed to submit, and you're, like, you're not supposed to put people in submissions in the second week. She was a girl showing off. She saw someone. You know, she sees advantage of you know someone vulnerable. Which she used her girl brain. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But the, she like. But even still, the guy was like, "Hey, hey, you're not supposed to submit people in the second week." And then like he kind of looked at me like. You're in the wrong Sensei. building, dude. Sensei, no. <laughs> I already told you. I fucked her up. The next time we did it, I fucked her up. What'd you do to her? I beat up a fucking girl. <laughs> What'd you do? We were just we were going at it, and I just wasn't... Because I was, like, kind of pulling punches and what, shit. What, you were, like, punching her the next no, time? No, we were fought? just jujitsu. Okay. So we were, like, wrestling around. I'm, like, just, you know, I'm just, like, trying not to touch her tits the whole time. And then she snagged my wrist and bent it. That was the extent of our fight. Second fight, I'm... You tried to... She sensed to me, too, Second fight... Yeah, dude. Second fight, I was, <laughs> I was fucking her up. She tapped And then she out. went to get on her feet, and from a kneeling position, I grabbed her ankles and just lifted her off the ground and <laughs> dropped her. She, she was, like, uh. She literally she, grape laid out. Grape laid she went, uh. And I was like, you okay? She's like, stop asking me if I'm okay. I'm fine. It's like, all right, we don't ever have to wrestle again. You should have seen this dunk contest last night. Between a who? high school dunk contest. Girls dunk contest? There was a girl in it. Really? All she had to do was just one dunk. <laughs> she touched the backboard yeah, or she yeah, did a yeah. layup? Straight tens. The other guy, Zion Williamson, we just watched. Yeah. He was throwing down dunks that are just out of this world. So why did they give her a 10? Was she in the girl dunk contest? No, she was a girl in the men's dunk contest. Was it one hand dunk or two hand? One handed. Yeah. She had a 10? Straight 10. That's sexism, dude. It was pure sexism. Ugh. I, great. dude, I would have loved it to the watch. judge who was just like four. If I went out there and did, despite my being 5'11 and did a one handed dunk, I'd have gotten it like a two. Yeah. Like, yeah, get this guy the fuck out of here. He's straight 10s. But then the crowd knew, like, she dunked in the first round, got mm-hmm. a hundred, got a perfect score. And she tried to do the same dunk. And then the next round, she was like, I'm going to go for it. Two handed dunk. Couldn't land it. Couldn't stick it. It was great. Would you get a nine? Yeah, pretty much. She advanced to the finals, not making a dunk. What? And then the best was the final round in the finals. She made the finals. And she did like this, like, still on the ground, like windmill. Like, while she was running, she picked (laughs) the ball up and did a windmill and then did a one-handed dunk. (laughs) It was pretty great. And the crowd was just like, nah. She didn't get, they didn't give it to her? Nah, she didn't win. What did she? What did she get on the on the ground windmill? On the ground windmill, she still got a good score. I think she finished second. What? Yeah. Next to the like elite Next high to the school best prospect. dunker probably ever in <laughs> high school. <laughs> it was like it was it was such a perfect fucking. I mean, must we have this, example? Must we have this tea party, dude? And <laughs> yeah. all sit around our dolls and be like, yeah, that's great, awesome. There was a female announcer that yeah. for ESPN that was on the sidelines that was like, "Come on, guys, everybody, get up, give her some energy." She's like, if she puts down a two-handed dunk, I'm running out of this gym. And no Sexist, one gave a dude. fuck. Everyone else. It was just it was a bunch of black people in Atlanta. Yeah, they don't give a fuck. I mean, <laughs> you, like, you should right. let, if you're going to do that, if it's like, all right, look, if you're a girl or boy into the dunk contest, it's like, if you put down some weak-ass bullshit dunk, it's like, four, thanks for your participation. <laughs> yeah. You can't be fucking doing this shit. Like, treating them like like she's in her own bubble version of, like, the Special Olympics. It was. There was yeah. Well, there was a retarded judge. Really? Yeah. He probably saw right through this shit. <laughs> <laughs> Two. He probably Hawk. <laughs> he probably Hawkins down, dude. Everyone's on Hawkins' dick right now. Yo, fuck Hawkins, dude. dude. I could give a fuck about Stephen Hawkins. You yeah, know he dude. had the he had the option to change his voice. No. Yeah, he could have had like any fucking voice, dude. He could have had Siri. That would have been tight. But he's stuck with robot. Yeah. Well, good for him. I, I I saw this thing on Reddit today, and it was a guy like found a buried treasure in my parents' room. It was like a Stephen Hawking's cassette. It's like, throw it the fuck out, dude. Ugh. Throw it out. Ugh. What did he do? 
Fuck him, fake dude. Fake-ass Einstein, dude. Fuck that motherfucker. I've watched specials. He's like, in the universe is actually... And I'm like, boring, dude. Next. Next. Give me who's the other... Give me some fucking Carl Sagan, dude. Give me Sagan. Give me Sagan. I'm sick of this fucking I need shitty... Sagan. I don't even fuck with DeGrasse Tyson anymore. Nah, me neither. I bought his fucking audiobook. Trash. DeGrasse, DeGrasse went full Bill Nye. He's in it for Did the he? fucking fame, dude. See, he, yeah, you He's know what? He's a fucking fame hog. I forgot his humble roots in yeah. elementary school science fairs, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. He used to stick with that, pouring some fucking vinegar into a fake Did you ever volcano. make a volcano? No. As soon as I had a science fair, bro, I made a volcano instantly. No, I couldn't. That was my top. I made a, a volcano, second science fair, replica of the moon with plaster of Paris. Really? Yeah, dude. It was off the hook. The only science I didn't fair. Pla- I didn't place. <laughs> I I did one science fair. I think it was like seventh or eighth grade, and I did is home field advantage real in college football. <laughs> That's, That's not science, dude. Yeah, I know. I lost. <laughs> no one even looked at it. But I just had a picture of Notre Dame Stadium on one of those fucking on the trifold. Yeah. That's so funny. I did a uh, in junior year. I did a chemistry project that was a purely fake project. Me and my friend just got drunk. My parents went to the mountains. We got drunk. And just like put like I remember we, we 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 just put pictures of like weird shit on this board and just lifted it up and like put it on the table and this lady was just like D she's like that's not what was your project it was supposed to be like a with like a famous chemist and like you know what they did and how they changed the world and we were drinking wine so we like just put pictures of King Henry everywhere because we're calling it King Henry the Eighth we're drinking we're like hammered <laughs> <laughs> I woke up the next day and I'm like Jesus Christ dude I get antsy <laughs> it was just us writing like King Henry on the thing. <laughs> Oh man, that su- that sucks. You didn't place at the science fair. No, I thought I thought college football home field advantage would have been a big a big scientific. Would have been a big you should have done concussions, dude. I was. You should have just done like an African accent and went in there and be like, "This is really bad." This I was is really not. Bad. No, is that Asian? <laughs> no, the fucking Will Smith. Yeah, dude. yeah, yeah. I was pretty much the Will Smith of college football home field advantage. <laughs> I broke it in and they college football NCAA. They shut it down, dude. Me. Yeah, NCAA <laughs> started giving me death threats. They're like, "Don't let the people know about this." That's why there's so many neutral site games now. They found my they found my studies. <laughs> they found your fucking like mm-hmm. light board, your the, trifold. They're, they're like, "Holy fuck, we this guy's on to it." I remember the picture too because it was Notre Dame Stadium and I just ripped it out of a calendar I had, so it had like the <laughs> shitty. The top of it was all ripped. <laughs> My, I don't think my parents ever helped me with like projects like that. No. So like kids would come in with like roller coasters made out of fucking toothpicks. Yeah. And I'm in there trying to present a picture of Notre Dame. I mean that's kind of that's kind of sick for parents to do that honestly. I mean it's one thing if you're just like if you're just being lazy and you don't feel like dealing with your dumb kid and you're like fuck it I'm gonna do it or you know but it's probably kind of fun then you know once you're 40 it's like hell yeah dude I'll build a fucking oh yeah I'll get fucked up stop thinking about jumping out the window every five seconds. Yeah. Well it's funny we're it. it transitions nicely because i was looking at all those uh march for life mm-hmm. protesters and it's all like little kids with like signs yeah that are like i'm in i'm a kindergartner i'm not alive like shit like that yeah it's all like oh so your parents helped you with this project yeah that was the science fair for protests of like, just like parents li- little yeah, kids dude no six-year-olds it's all parents going to liberal marches putting shit on their kids and being like look what my kid look at this powerful message from a little kid is wow. it the same as a liberal march or the Abortion, which one are you talking about? I'm confused now. Well, probably all of them. Same thing, yeah. But it's like, did you see the March for Life? No. The I've, March I've for been there. I've lives. been there. No, wait, no, no. It oh, wasn't. It was I thought for, you meant the pro life. No, it was anti school like, shooting. Wait, fucking tongue, dude. I've been twice. My mom used to make me go to the pro life march. I used to walk around DC like, this sucks. Yeah, fuck that. <laughs> Any protest is fucking stupid. <laughs> but yeah, so, oh, you're talking about the March for Lives. Sure. They should Whatever check with their called. branding manager, dude, because that's the exact pro life march. Yeah. That's sick. That'd be tight if they got confused and they all went down there. Which is like, a no, good no, move. guns rule. We we hate abortion. They're like, what fuck you? <laughs> they all uh they all do a nice both sides do a nice little like cause this was like a march against school shooting. Fuck yeah, dude. So Sign like, me up. It's like, yeah, obviously everyone's against school shootings. <laughs> but they were like, if you're if you're pro Second Amendment, you fucking you love school shootings. It's like, no, I don't. Did you see, oh, That's how they do it, dude. Did I send you the video get you. of the security guard? No. There's a video oh, of the yeah, security yeah, yeah. dude that's Hilarious. so fucking funny. Walks in. They're like, the gun's fake. And he's like, too bad. Starts shooting him. Yeah, there's these two black kids robbing a 7-Eleven. Yeah. And then this black security guard or cop or what? Security, security guard, guard he busts in. Busts in on him. It's the Caps funniest. Kid. Yeah, he shoots one of them. The one guy goes, the guns are fake. And he goes, 
too bad or says something yeah, he's like, like that. mine's not yeah <laughs> <laughs> he shoots a guy in the arm <laughs> he's gonna die oh well yeah. dude that was awesome so you should have thought about that before you robbed this 7-eleven yep now you're gonna die oh that was so funny thinking about that guy just being like having the worst day ever and seeing two kids and be like yes pop pop <laughs> <laughs> fuck these guys oh man you should have seen this sick tweet i had this weekend what'd you have you're still fucking one of the best tweets. You're ever. still breaking the internet. I'm still dude? crushing the <laughs> tweets. <laughs> this one was. Uh, hold on, I gotta fucking show you this because I, I was watching. I spent a I spent a lot of time watching uh, Denny's fights, mm-hmm. which is just black people destroying Denny's yeah. in fights. Like fucking white managers getting their asses kicked. Except I saw that the, one. the one I saw. The one like, I oh, the guy you. tomb. Yeah, I saw that. And I hoppy fucking tombstone a guy. Yeah, I've fight. seen. <laughs> I've seen some pretty good, uh, some IHOP battles. I think my favorite one is a Denny's fight. It's Halloween in Oakland. Yeah. So it's it's like two squads of black chicks fighting each other, and they're all in dressed costume? like yeah, they're dressed like bumblebees and fucking. <laughs> and one squad is out in the dining area, and the other squad's basically in the kitchen at this point. Uh-huh. They've been they retreated to the kitchen. But they're all just finding shit to throw at each other. And it's the they just fucking destroy this. Yeah, place. being in costumes is pretty nice for that. They're all fat black ladies dressed up in like, like princess outfits, <laughs> throwing plates at each other. It's so good. Uh, it's pretty fucking funny. Uh, so I thought I thought this was a great tweet, and yeah. it's it's really it's really not, not it's, it's, it's not taking off what like I fuck? wanted to. And it's got ten likes. That's pretty zero good. retweets though. A lot of people don't. Some people be... don't have the gumption. What is it? I said if we're on a kick of individuals being responsible for their entire race's actions. I think black people owe at Denny's a sincere apology. <laughs> no wonder nobody no, retweeted really that. It. <laughs> you got 10 likes. They had 10 likes. Not Anybody bad. that's seen a Denny's fight knows, dude. Yeah. That's, that's, the, that's a tough... Uh, that's the black community's greatest disgrace. Denny's? <laughs> Denny's fights. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a tough one to get behind on. Because it's not really trending right now. It's no. like gun violence is trending yeah, pretty hard. Nowhere. I was just yeah. like, well, I assume everybody's seen Denny fights. <laughs> they know what I'm talking about. And then uh, another sick tweet, six likes and a retweet. The other what? night, I was watching, uh, I was watching CNN, and they have this ad right now, mm-hmm. and it's just an apple on a white screen, and it's like, some people will tell you this is a banana. They may scream, "This is a banana." They may say, "Banana, banana, banana," but this is an apple, and it's like facts rule CNN. But it's like, what is this transphobic? What's I mean, that? it was supposed to be anti-Trump. Yeah, it was I got that. To be like, yeah. They might, in all caps, say this is a banana. Yeah, but it's like you could also make this the exact same commercial, just transphobic. Yeah, you could. Be like you may scream, "This is a banana." It's yeah. a fucking apple. You yeah, retard. exactly. I mean, yeah, you could do that with anything, men and women and stuff. That's a good yeah. point. I mean, that's sick though, just to watch that. And be like, "Fuck yeah, I possess a truth." CNN possesses a truth, and yeah, I'm yeah, yeah. directly tapped into it. Perfect. Well, if it just said. The exact same commercial, except at the end of CNN, it was just the Fox News logo. Mm-hmm. They'd be like, this is tr- transphobic. The exact oh, same okay. message. Yeah, I see. That. I could see that. Oh, yeah. I guess they could you know put I mean? some phallic shit on the banana. And I guess Apple Well, no, just like, like that's not what that is. We're lying to ourselves. Fox would be like, this is not a girl. This is a boy. Yeah. Fox, they wouldn't, they wouldn't dude, get that Fox cryptic. Is the shit. Yeah, they wouldn't get that cryptic. <laughs> 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 I was thinking today, I, was, I think it was like this morning, I was just chilling. I don't know. I don't even know what brought this up, but I was thinking about like how, when you're little, you're basically like, we we have like a little like a, we're like savages when we're little because like you're like we have this little bubble of like magical thinking where it's like Santa Claus, Easter Bunny, yeah, Tooth Fairy. So you kind of grow up like a weird like indigenous person from like the 1500s to we believe in all this fucked up shit, and slowly your parents are like, all right, dude, we're gonna repeal all those things from you. Yeah. Then one day someone's like, yeah, you know, God's probably not real either, and you're like. What the fuck's going on now? <laughs> Nothing's real. And you watch CNN, and you're like, oh, sick, the truth. Perfect. There you go. Perfect. That's how the Marxists get you. <laughs> that is weird to think about how you just grow up just like in an absolute fantasy world that gets destroyed, and you're just like, fuck, what do I do yeah. now? And they're like, here, sit at a desk. It's like, like that Bill Burr bit. What? The one where he's talking about when he loses, he's like, when you wake up and you're young, it's the exact same thing. Same thing. And they're like, she's like, Santa Claus isn't real, fucking Easter Bunny. <laughs> and he's like, and then you lose God, and they're like, God's not real. Yeah. And you figure out you you're, just, you're an animal. You just organically came up with a Bill Burr bit, hey, just dude. like that, dude. This is, I mean. A lot of is, parallel thinking. I mean, it's pretty. It's crazy. It's stuff that you already know that you know. Yeah. I, I'm just here to say But you're just you know here it, dude, dishing exactly. out the truth. Same thing, same thing about foreskin. 
You're True here. that. Everybody knows. I can't wait till we get our guest. You try to hit me with that vignette of one person, dude. You're like, oh, one guy said that he got his cut off and he's fine. Oh, yeah. Well, that's... And then McKeever right away said, nah, dude. Hurt my dick. A, li- a listener yeah. came up to me and said, I got circumcised when I was like 23. Mm-hmm. And he was like, and there's no difference. Probably doesn't use his dick. I think he's got a kid. <laughs> no, he, so probably, he, he, probably, he probably once. uses his dick. He got one good cream probably pie. probably uses his dick. But I don't take those anecdotal evidence. I just I'm, a, I'm a scientist. I just think it's funny. Somebody got circed when they were like 24. That sucks, man. That's I try to think about game. that. It's he's like, like, my dick hurt for a month. It was like swollen and fucked up. Really? Yeah. And he's still like, yeah, it's chill. Yeah. I guess it was a medical necessity or was he like... No. Was it, it, was it was his was wife then. purely aesthetic. It was his girl then. His girl made him do that. Think about that. You never know. And brainwashed I don't want to just assume this. Okay. I'm not CNN, dude. No dude is like, let me take a news. knife to my dick out of nowhere. That guy was. Why, dude? Because he's a lunatic. What happened? I don't know. Someone stopped a hand job and was like, I can't do this. And he was like, fuck it, I'm getting it cut. Maybe. Definitely. That would probably Definitely. call it. That, that would bring you to Under it. Under no circumstances would I ever cut. If someone was like, yo, I'm putting a knife to your bird, I'd be like, my answer eternally is no. Until something fucked up happens to me, and I'm like, all Until right. Until you're getting a fucking skin hand job, and the lady's like, you got a gross dick. Imagine how many times you got to be told your dick's gross. To cut off to the To be like, fuck thing. it, I'm going under surgery. I mean, it might, it, it could just be one girl, you know? So if the right one tells you it's gross, it's gross. Sure. If the right one tells you it's small, it's fucking small. Think of the Asian. The right one tells you it's big, still question that. Asian with a fat ass, dude. <laughs> Asian with a fat ass from Drexel comes up and is like, yo, I'll suck your dick if you don't have a gross dick. Surgery time. Civil War style, dude. I don't even need anesthesia. Oh, I, I would bite the, le- you'd somebody, bite the leather yeah, strap. Somebody come in here. Shit, man. Get a I don't knife know. out. Sir, that's me. a fucking. That's a mean Asian lady, dude. There, they are mean. On the Asian spot, ladies? bust out the kid on you and fucking circ you. The thing <laughs> that terrifies me is that they that can go wrong. Getting circ, and it happens. It goes wrong every now and again. A dude, a kid, just fucking God bless him, loses his dick. Yeah, that's over the whole thing. A lot of them trans. Yeah, fucks you up, dude. Did I tell you about you that case? About that? Did I tell you what happened the one no. time? What? They had a, um, so that there was an infant, because there's a lot of people who think like there's no biological, if you're like as a kid, you're a blank slate and like society makes you a man or a woman mm-hmm. in your mind. So a kid lost his bird due to circumcision, Had to, they cut it off. This doctor who was like trying to push his point of being like, yeah, dude, we're totally blank slates, got his hands on that kid and uh, completely was like, gave him therapy from the time he was a baby. Into like turned him into a girl basically was showing him like dudes like this is what you're into this is hot blah, 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 dude blah. <laughs> it's pretty hot so hot. like this boy I guess it was a girl then because it got his dick chopped off and the doctor tricked it but it was like it just started freaking the fuck out at like 12 years old just went nuts and then eventually found the parents were like alright we're gonna stop lying to you when you're 16 like you were born with a dong and then we had to cut it off because of circumcision I think the kid eventually like killed himself sick yeah so Fuck yeah. Don't think you can just be out here changing people's shit, dude. I, I don't. We're cutting their dong skin. I don't care how many fat-ass Asians are out there, dude. Yeah, that's what you say now until you see a fat-ass Asian. I mean, that's, on it's the fucking, easy to say. On the Stairmaster at Drexel. I know. That's like Ooh. when someone... That's like saying how like what you would do if someone pulled a gun on you. I'm like, until you got a gun on you, dude, don't say what you do. What happens to you when you have a gun on you? I freeze, dude. You I freeze? freeze. Same if I see an Asian with a fat-ass. I would have fucking psh, twisted it. I, 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 right I should have entered the Matrix, dude. I'm like, <laughs> Same with an Asian with a fat-ass, dude. I'd freeze right up and be like, what? I was just at Drexel. And the asses are coming, dude. It's time. Damn. It's getting warm out. Oh, Cheeks. It's, it's going to be... Cheek city. I forgot they do that now. I for, I've been hibernating the winter so long, I forgot girls show their ass cheeks now. Yeah. You're not supposed to look. The short shorts. You're not allowed to look. Don't dude. you dare. Don't, don't you look. Fuck you fucking pig, dude. I was... I went to... I went classic. I went to Starbucks right after. Uh-huh. Classic shit. And yeah. uh, I was just like... I'm, I'm 30, and I feel like a fucking weird mm-hmm. creep. Yeah, just because no you see these fucking ki- these hot kids walking yeah. around, it's just like holy Dude, shit. Wait till they're like, if you have kids, wait till they're your daughter's friends. If you have a daughter, <sighs> it's just stuff you gotta keep inside, man. You gotta go outside and mow the lawn, dude. You gotta <laughs> chop the firewood. You wanna do bad things? You can't. <laughs> you're gonna do bad things. I'm not saying. Dude. I'm saying like, yeah, you are. You're fucking 45, 50 year old man, dude. You know, see your son's prom date and you go, God dang. You go outside and you fucking. Cut the weeds down. <laughs> <laughs> Go outside and punch a tree, dude. Yeah. Go outside and box it. That's what that guy was doing in that video of tackling those trees. Oh, yeah. He probably had a daughter with hot friends. Well, it's so weird, too, to think of like your parents like chaperoning like a grade school dance. It's like, yeah, my parents are chilling up. They're thinking the most fucked up stuff that you can't even fathom. You're like sitting there like 
trying like smelling like wintergreen on some chick's breath, being like, I hope she likes me. And your parents, meanwhile, be like, Your dad's back there, just like, Holy, oh fuck my god, god. Mrs. Whatever her name is hot oh, as fuck. This dude's a weirdo. <laughs> fuck that guy. Imagine though being a, a dad with like without a sense of humor. So like you're like a fucking accountant. I know that's always the. There's yeah. got to be a better answer to accountant. You know what I mean? That's always the cliche, fucking straight edge job. True. I mean, you can. Uh, I think accountants are pretty fucking stiff, man. They, I know. They, they can be. I know a couple who are pretty cool, but my one friend's cool. Yeah, but they're pretty stiff in terms of like like two. I I know two accountants. I yeah. Think. I was married to one. One right? of them. One of them's a fan of the cast. Really? Yeah. Is he stiff? No. Is he a drunk? He's funny. He's a dork. Is he an alcoholic? He's a funny dork. A lot of he's listening to this now. He knows. <laughs> he's real fucking well spoken. I just sick. remember that he. I don't know if he still is because I don't really see him that much anymore. What if that but goes away for an when account? we were young? He was like real well spoken. Really? So it was like he was huge too. He was like six eight. <laughs> he's fucking huge. I don't know if he's. I don't know if he still is. You think but he in fifth grade, he was about seven five, <laughs> <laughs> and like we'd play basketball. And, like, if you bumped into him or, like, elbowed his gut or anything, he'd be like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It was just funny. He was like an old man when we were kids. That's but uh, but I, I'd say, dude, I, I've thought about it before. It's like, if you're a dead serious person, I've come across the occasional dead serious woman. They're, like, a whole other spectacle to be talked about another time. But serious dudes is, like, they freak me out, man. Like, whenever I yeah. see a guy trying to be, like, outwardly romantic or sexy in public, like, whenever... I was I was food shopping. I saw this guy like turn around the escalator and like kiss his girlfriend, like holding her. And I was just like, I told my girlfriend, I'm like, if I wasn't funny or had a personality, that's the kind of shit I'd have to do for you. Yeah. Luckily, I'm fucking. You'd cool. have to read a book on the floor at a party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just showed McCusker. My friend posted this Instagram story filming this party in L.A. And one of the guys, another friend of ours, yeah, is literally laying on the living room floor in the middle of a party reading a fucking book of poetry. Yeah. It's fucking insane. That's wild, man. It's the most insane behavior. Yeah, I don't understand it, man. I always see that, and I'm just kind of like... Imagine trying to display the fact that you're an intellectual. Which is what a lot of people do, which is fucking Neil deGrasse Tyson does, and I don't like it. He I knows like a my, lot about outer space. I like my scientist, White. He knows a lot about outer space, but I he handed up on his book. When people release books... And they fill the first 50 pages with high school science. It's like, dude, this is not why I fucking bought this book. You want the real science. Blow my fucking mind with some shit that I don't know. Yeah, tell me about how big some fucking star is. Exactly, dude. Hit me with some space-time shit that I just in my car can go, whoa. Whoa. Anyway, what I was saying about being a serious guy. Like, imagine being a dad, a serious dad. Yeah. And your kids come over. Or your daughter's friends come over. And then you have to confront those weird fucking thoughts. I mean, without a sense of humor, that's a weird fucking... It's tough, man. I with mean, a sense of humor, you can be like, when, holy shit, that's when crazy. When you're utterly serious, the only thing you can think of is ascending in your certain thing. Like, if you're, like, super serious, all you can think of is, like, become, you're at a job and you're like, I gotta become the fucking boss. I gotta do it. Otherwise, there's nothing. If you can just fuck around and have fun, it's like, well, if I get a promotion, cool. If not, whatever. If not, fuck it. But if you're one of those dudes that just, like, I gotta get to the oh. fucking top, and you don't get to the top, you start doing weird shit, man. Yeah. So, well, there's a, I don't know. It's start like, going to your son's baseball team, sitting on the other side, cheering for the other team. <laughs> that's a power move, though. Yeah. I mean, that's that sounds like something funny. <laughs> if they're grounded. Yeah, that's... Uh, but no, it, it's... Dude, I'm telling you, I get more and more freaked out the older I get. I'm like, Jesus Christ. Dude, yeah. No one told you how fucking weird this shit gets. It does get real weird. No, I mean, my dad tried to explain to me when I was a youth. Dude. He tried to tell me. like, What did he say? Get ready for it. He told me when I was like... I was like 11. And he told me... uh he was all drunk and he was just like, yeah, everyone, you know, just gets weirder and weirder and you don't even know him anymore. And I was just like, really? 10, like Jesus fucking Christ. Damn. He was exactly right. He was spot on, it's dude. I tried, crazy how I actually on accident, I, I went to breakfast with my mom and dad and Billy and his girlfriend. And I accidentally, Shout out, Billy. accidentally hugged my dad or like went to hug him. Cause I was like coming out of the restaurant. I was just in my head all day. Cause I went to church. Like my girlfriend got in cahoots with my mom. I was like, I'm going to go to church. Let us go to church with you. It was fucking Palm Sunday. So it's this long, epic fucking. Oh, so that mass. was this Sunday. Yeah, this it's was just two this days Sunday. Ago. Okay. And every time I go into church, it's like I just fucking feel weird when I leave. So I left. I get like weird tunnel vision when I'm in church, and I I can just stare at the priest, and everything gets all weird and fuzzy, and I'm just like, I don't like it, dude. It freaks me out. So then I get out of there. I'm in my head the whole breakfast, being like, God, what the fuck is going on? Why do we go to this shit? Blah blah blah. So by the time I leave, I'm so in my head that I'm like, 
think I'm saying goodbye to my mom, but it's my dad. And I, I go to like hug my dad and then halfway realizing like, oh fuck, I don't want to do this. And my dad literally just stuck an arm out and like blocked me, like then shook my hand. <laughs> <laughs> what? You can't hug your dad? No, he won't fucking hug me. No. Oh. He literally, weird. he just like this. I was like, he, he like stuck an arm out and kind of like blocked me over the shoulder. I mean, shoulder. it's hilarious that he did that, but why, he, why not? It's Can't just weird. I've never hugged my dad, dude. Uh, I'll give my dad a hug sometimes. No, dude. It was fucking bizarre. I realized what I did, and I was just like, and he just like put his hand out and we shook yeah, hands. Yeah, I guess I don't really hug my dad. I don't think I've ever done it since My I mom's was, been was like uh, trying to kiss me on the cheek when I leave. I kiss my mom on the cheek. You do the kissing? Yeah. See, I, it, she, I kiss she always aunt. misses and hits my fucking neck, and it's disgusting. Ooh. Oh, you're tall. Yeah. Yeah, I'll do that on like, oh, I did that I to Beezer's. It. I think I did that to Beezer's mom. I think I like kissed Beezer's mom. I at least hugged her. What? I, any old ladies, I just kiss them on the cheek, dude. When I see like my aunts, any of them, I, even like you're very European, dude. My mom, very Spanish. I'm very European. You do have that Spanish passion. I do, I do. Whenever like there's an, if I go to a funeral, I just see all these old ladies. I just fucking kiss all. You just of make them. out with all these. You finger them. You ever finger a geezer? <laughs> Last funeral I went to, I just kissed some lady from the other <laughs> side of the family. <laughs> I didn't know who she was. I was like, "How you doing?" I gave her like, a kiss on the cheek, and she like pulled away. And my mom was like, "Dude, that's fucking." Like your cousin's blah blah blah's in law, and I was like, oh my bad. Why are you kissing people? <laughs> I just if I see Stop old ladies, people. I kiss old ladies on sight. If I see an old lady, you get kissed. My on the grandma, cheek. who kind of sucks, I'll, I'll lay one. My on grandma her. fucking sucks, <laughs> and like I always, I'm always afraid to hug her because I feel like I'm just gonna shatter her fucking like shoulders and yeah. shit. But every once in a while, she'll go for a kiss. Again, I'm tall enough that these people always hit my fucking neck. <laughs> and it's a real fucking gross. When you have your mom kiss you on the neck, that's fucked up. It's a real fucking gross moment. That's fucked up. But yeah, I, I kiss my mom, all my aunts, right and away. And then you can't acknowledge it. You can't be like, ew. Yeah. Then it's like, what? Did you think that was sexual, you fucking weirdo? Yeah, it's pretty weird. You can't be like, ew, get the fuck off. Dude, my uncle had a girlfriend for a while that, like, we were always excited to go hug and kiss goodbye. I remember being like, yes. Oh, I would yeah. save her for last. I'd yeah, there like, were a couple bye, of those. Bye, bye, Then I'd be like, yes. I had some friends <laughs> with some ridiculously hot moms. That was awesome. That is sick, dude. Damn. Getting a good hug, dude. Getting tight. some tits against your body. I don't want to feel those tits. That is when girls are like, they like talk about like uh, hugging in the workplace. It's like, all right, there's definitely some dudes out there fucking behind some the back. Some dudes hug, giving some hugs. Coming up from behind, like, see ya. <laughs> oh, behind the back hug. That's tough. That's tough stuff. That's tough. That's dick against butt. No one's doing it's that. It's dick lower back hug. No one's doing that. Mm-mm. Uh-uh. Not to my Not in girlfriend. Not my place, dude. Thankfully, my girlfriend works at a kindergarten. She's probably so getting, all, she's probably getting some hugs. It's all females. All the teachers. The little kids will fucking grope her. Little kids? She probably got her ass grabbed She said the there was time. this autistic kid that grabbed her tit the other day. Really? She was like bent down to like help him zip up some shit, and Snag he just it. reached out and grabbed her tit. <laughs> fucking baller move dude i thought about doing young that sheldon went up on my girlfriend Sheldon fucking got second he went base. up on my girlfriend dude i was thinking about this the other day how i'm just gonna tell my son he's retarded when i have a son i'm like yo you're retarded bro try your best tough it out that way like if he gets like mad he'd be like dude, i'm a manager at amc i'm like dude you're the first retarded guy ever to be a manager at amc that's sick dude hell yeah usually guys just rip tickets get stoked on yourself bro. just lower the shoulder <laughs> yeah, yeah. run forward dude you're gonna have a mike allstott type if he kid. graduates like community college i'm like dude you're the first that's retarded incredible. person ever to graduate community college man Way to go, kid. That's incredible. Thanks, Dad. I love you. You think he would develop the slur? You know how, know. like, when you're gay, all of a sudden you start talking gay? Yeah. With that lisp. And now trans, like, you don't know. <laughs> yeah, I wonder if he'd get I wonder the... if, like, you could be like, dude, you're retarded. He'd be like, what? <laughs> I, 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 I would that? hook him up to like, the Stephen Hawking's machine, dude. I yeah. want to have like a fake retarded Stephen Hawking son. So this is like a Mun- Munchild's? Mun- yeah, yeah, Munchausen, Munchausen syndrome. syndrome. Except of, it's just retard. But it's purely calculated. It's, it's, it's just... It's purely like, I want my kid to excel. Chuck, chuck him in the fucking... I want him uh, to be happy, so I'm going to tell him he's retarded. Yeah, if I'm going to put him in normal school, I'm not going to put him in like retarded school. Really? Yeah. That's risky. He's going to meet some friends that are going to be like, dude, you know you're not retarded, right? I'll be like, dude, don't those listen. Those kids are tricking you. Don't listen. to. I know those kids, they have good They're intentions, mean. but trust me. You, you, gotta, you gotta show up. To I'm just gonna print house. out a piece of paper that'll say like Dr. Livingstein and be like, it's just say retarded on it. Jew like, dude, doctor. This is, <laughs> like, dude, this is what the game is. A bro. Jew gave us this certificate, dude. Yeah. It's official. You're retarded. My fake retarded son's gonna take over the world, dude. <laughs> what do you think he's gonna do? He's just gonna be happy with himself. <laughs> That's true. He's just gonna he's gonna be stoked on himself, dude. He's gonna be like, dude, I can't believe I'm a fucking assistant manager at Rite Aid, chilling. I'm the best. I'm That's what I was saying. I've said it a couple times about people with Down syndrome. It's like, boy, are they happy. Yeah. I mean, I guess they get frustrated here and there. But, yeah, you catch them on a good day, man. They're those like fucking dogs. 
But they get like they get weird though. They can get weird real quick, and they then can like fire up when they get like attracted to a certain girl, and a oh, girl's whoa. like like they get heartbroken a lot. That chimp rage. Yeah, man. They'll fucking rip someone's Dude, arm I'm off. I'm telling you, they get they get like they get butthurt about a lot of shit. <laughs> I always wondered. I I would love to try to figure out what it's like though. What to, to be put retarded? like just put it on, yeah, and just be like, dude, what's going down? I'm sure you've had some experiences where you borderline retard mentally. Ah, dude, I don't know. At least I I kind of always know. <laughs> that's been a, that's a vague fear I have every now and again. That, like I'm just like super autistic, and no one tells me, and everyone's let me tag along. You're kind of since we've started this podcast, you've definitely there's some flags that have been raised that yeah. have just been like, whoa, whoa, whoa. This guy's yeah, I a can little, see that. There's something off for sure. No, no doubt. There's something real weird. But I'm like thinking, like I'm full on, like I'm just, I don't, I just black out and fucking bag groceries. The next thing I know, I'm back on the podcast. Like, hey, man, everyone's like, great podcast, Matt. And I'm like, what if they never told me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. Well, if anybody's, I don't know, because obviously when I hear about the podcast, it's just me. I'm not with you. Yeah. It's usually somebody coming up and being like, I'm a big fan of the podcast. Yeah. Usually, nine times out of ten, the next line is like, Yo, Matt's fucking weird. It's usually like, dude, I love the podcast. Matt is fucking crazy. That's sick, dude. Yeah. I like that. And I got to explain to him, like, dude, I I know. I'm fucking, he's like one of my best friends. And every time we talk, you're my best friend. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> that was it, dude. We broke the ice. Oh, and, sick, uh, dude. That's like me hugging my dad. <laughs> you know, was, every time I talk to someone, I'm like, yeah, dude, I, I'm friends with him and like, it baffles me every single time. You're thinking more of like a Da Vinci character. For you? Yeah. Basically, like Leonardo da Vinci on the edge, inventor, just like dropping the yeah, coin while yeah. I'm like falling asleep and I drop the coin and paint what I see. <laughs> <laughs> no, I told you, dude, dude, Thomas Edibles. Something happened. Yeah. You're out here experimenting I'm, I'm with shit. I'm innovating, dude. I am. You're I'm just innovating. out here fucking. I'm telling you, man, I got a, I got the, I was born allegedly with the umbilical cord around my neck, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I got some oxygen dep- uh, deprivation early on. <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah. Maybe you are a little fucking. Hey, you're I definitely a fucking I space slipped, cadet. I could have slipped through. Yeah, I'm a, I'm pretty bad. Which is good. Can be. Uh, yeah, Driving, I got better since I turned off my text messages while I drive. That's helped me big time. Yeah, that's annoying. I've almost gotten so many accidents though, dude. And you do it's drive like, like a motherfucker, dude. And I add the phone to the mix, and then phone breeds. Let me check out Reddit. I stopped check. I used to browse Facebook while I drove. Like, yeah, I used me to do too. Everything. Dude. I deleted now, Facebook off my phone. Did you really? Yeah. Really? And I check it like once every other day on on my laptop. Dude, you'll feel better instantly. I do feel better. It's it's the worst thing in the world. I got this fucking sick camouflage sheets t shirt or long. So you deleted you deleted Facebook and now you have. Now I wear camouflage. Funny. I'm one step closer to a militia. True. We should start our own militia. Um, I've I hear about that shit and I secretly I'm always like that sounds so fucking awesome. What being in a militia? Yeah, sounds awesome. Here's one thing that I see a lot, especially with the Second Amendment thing. Mm-hmm. Is like uh, when when people are like, "Oh, you think your AR-15 is gonna st- stop a fucking drone?" Like if the if the government decide to attack civilians, yeah, and they they're always like, "Yeah, let's see how your fucking assault rifle does against a fucking Abrams tank," mm-hmm. and it's like, isn't that exactly what insurgents in Iraq have? Is like assault rifles. It's like the reason yeah, an assault right. rifle would be successful against a drone. Is because hopefully the government's still concerned about civilian casualties. Yeah, and it's you like, know what I mean? okay, Fuck yeah, dude. My thing is that's the worst argument in the world. Because like, yeah, you're right. I should buy some Stinger missiles too. I never thought about <laughs> yeah, that. True, true. I gotta Fuck. get my hand on some mortars. Yeah, let me get some Stinger missiles and some tripwire, dude. Some claymores. That's the dumbest fucking argument. But, but yeah, it's it's if if the government was fighting civilians, yeah, they wouldn't be trying to eradicate every civilian. So it wouldn't be like, oh, we're gonna fucking bomb this city, dude. Nor do they they. The amount of civilians to government is like ants to humans. If all if they were like go to war with civilians, they would get butt fucked. They are civilians. Because there's that's well, <laughs> it's yeah, like they are also true. civilians. But like the people who work in the government and the military combined, yeah. combined with the population, if like even sixty percent of them strapped up a rifle, a couple of female dunkers hopped in there, grabbed an AR-15. Mm. Dude, it's we it, the people of America outweigh outnumber the government in like an unbelievable way. I wonder what it is, because how many people are in the military? Act like, what is it? I mean, not as many as. Do we have like a million? I don't even personnel. Think we have, I don't think we have a million. But dude. I bet if you can, I don't know. Are we talking state workers? Are we talking government workers? Talking about like Capitol talking Hill. About I'm talking fat about black ladies in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Working I think, I think it's I think it's Capitol Hill. So some 
So some, no doubt. But I'm saying like top advisors, Congress. I'm thinking congressmen, Senate, President, Cab. Fuck yeah. That's this cabinet. is a good conversation. <laughs> cab. <laughs> Just like, damn, people are probably tuning out right now. Fuck them. Yeah, but that's that's all I was. I was trying to defend my fucking right. That's I a am. bullshit fucking argument. It is stupid. It's like, well, yeah, I mean, obviously, if the government is trying to kill everyone, then having an assault rifle is useless if you're fighting the government. Yeah. The chances and are. The tax base. It's it like be, it's like attacking your own bank account. It would be like an ISIS situation where patriots like you and me <laughs> had it, to create. Say it again. You and me, patriots, were getting tread on. And we're like, yo, we're fucking tired of getting tread on. And then we have to throw gay guys off roofs. Why, why do we have to do that? Because all of a sudden, we just become very religious. <laughs> Classic ISIS. I've been reading a book about uh, like the drug war and like how drug addicts, how we have it completely Are you wrong. reading it? Yeah. Audiobook through my ears. All right, and good. The, uh, just want to clarify. Audiobook through my ears reading it. And dude, there, this guy, his whole thing is that like we're doing the whole thing completely wrong. So they're saying the whole thing, the idea, like the whole government goes off of is, you know, pretty much everyone, is that there's a chemical, you do the chemical, it hooks into your brain, you're addicted, you're a slave to the chemical. And uh, apparently, like, none of them have anything to do with, like, your environment at all. So they're doing, like, they would do experiments where they put a, a mouse, they'd isolate a rat in a cage and put, like, a cocaine-infused water, and they would just watch the rat. Water? Yeah, they watched the rat become addicted to the fucking the, like to the, the tincture. Water. It would just drink it and drink it and drink it and fucking die. And everyone's like, see, if you do cocaine, that's what happened to you. Then some other guy built like a big rat utopia with like all these other rats, all these toys and shit. To do. <laughs> no, rat utopia. That's See, literally, awesome. It's like rat heaven, dude. It has all these like food. It has all Coke. kinds of cool shit. And then they put toys. morphine. So they have a regular water thing and a morphine water. And then they noticed that like, I think it was like 12% of the rats became addicted to the morphine. That's a chill fucking And they, they try to get money. They try to get money. Like, we're going to we're gonna expand on this experiment. And they, they, they were like, nah, bro. That, that's an abomination to science. Get rid of that thing. So the guy's whole point is that, like, it's all, all fucked up the way we're going about this whole thing. I don't... You didn't explain So basically by, by taking, like... So if you have, like, drug addicts and you're just like, all right... Locking your ass up, throwing you in jail, fuck you, you're a piece of shit. That's yeah. they're, that's what they're saying. It's like it's all it's environmental. And same with nicotine patches. When they released nicotine patches, they were like, all right, if, if that's the case, if it's just like you're addicted to a chemical, you should have a hundred percent success rate. Yeah. It was like seventeen percent of people who put on a nicotine patch stop smoking. Yeah. So it's like that makes sense. It's more about yeah. the it's more about the ritual. Exactly. And there yeah. was other there was other instances where they'd have uh, like the east side of Vancouver, where they'd have they'd have drug addicts, like they're all heroin addicts, and this one I was kind of like if hesitant on, but they were saying they completely embargoed heroin, that like the the ports were shut down, so they're like there's no fucking way they got heroin into the city, and people were just carrying on about their day, like shooting fucking heroin and stuff, and it was just fake heroin, and everyone just carried on, people weren't in like throwing up in the streets or like laying there having withdrawals. Well, that doesn't make sense. I You're know. saying withdrawals are like a social construct? No, they say they, they say you can have them, but they're not as bad as people make it out to be. They said it's like a light flu that like you don't die from withdrawals unless you're already compromised, like an AIDS patient. From heroin. You can die from alcohol withdrawals. From heroin withdrawals are not bad? It's all mental? They're, they're saying it's not as bad as people make it, no. They're well, saying I mean, it's I'm more sh- anguish mentally from all like your emotions coming back. Sure. Physical symptoms are like they're not as big of a deal. Interesting. It's weird too that people I'd like just kept, to see that fact checked. Yeah, well, they're saying people just kept on going on shooting up fucking fake heroin. But my thing here was my thing with it. It was like you might think you embargoed the city because the police are like, yeah, we embargoed the city. It's like people were driving in fucking heroin. Like, yeah, like, why didn't you? Why didn't you embargo the city earlier? I think it was because like the ports had a strike, so it was like out of their control. Okay. Or they like it was like a big seizure. I guess east of Vancouver or small. But my thing is like, dude, they can still drive. So like, even though the cops like yeah. we cut off all the weed. We went to West Vancouver. Exactly. Yeah. Went to a Canucks game, dude. Yeah, yeah. Got some fucking heroin. But it's still interesting to think that Saw like the Wongo net mining, dude. Their the their fucking... thing is that they're addicted more to the subculture of heroin addicts because it's like they're actually able to be someone. It's like, because the guy was like, if I quit, I'm just a janitor. He's like, or I can like run around in this crazy rampage game with like cops getting high. Yeah. The possibility of dying, hanging out with hookers and shit. He's like, why would I quit? It's so fucking fun. <laughs> He's like, the only thing I can do, the only thing that's left for me is a boring, shitty fucking job. 
Yeah. He's like, I might as well go down. Might as well live on the edge. Yeah. And the guy's whole argument is the drug war creates that weird, crazy, wild game. If that was gone, they're like, Mm. it wouldn't be like that. Interesting. It's a good book, man. It's really good. It's really cool. Uh, Chasing the Screams. Chasing the Screams. Yeah. Chasing a Scream or something. Wow. I think so. Following the Scream? I don't know. Something. It's good. It sounds like everybody's pretty consistently against the drug war. Yeah, but that's and that's the whole thing. They they are, but it you know still wages on pretty fucking hard. Yeah, Donald Trump didn't he just say he wanted to like execute drug dealers? He wants to murder. Well, well that's what the headlines are saying. But they <laughs> yeah, say yeah, he, yeah. chasing the scream. That's what it's called. That if you sell an opiate to someone and they overdose, he wants to give you the death penalty, which is kind of bullshit because it's like if you sell someone that's manslaughter heroin. My thing is, what if you sell someone heroin that you think they're going to sell and they just pig the fuck out and shoot up a ton of it? They could have just commit suicide via it. You know what I mean? But the fentanyl shit is like, you could fucking croak right then and there. Yeah. It's scary. You know what I just noticed? Well. You see that? Do you notice anything about that? My uh, my nightstand? Is it broken? No. Do you see that sock? Ooh, what'd you do with that sock? That was a prepared jerk off. You, you left that out? I left that out because I was going to jerk off right before I got in bed. That's ritual. That's ritualistic. That's a nice move. Damn, dude. That's I, just, like a... I had a shitty sock sitting there and I was like, fuck it. I don't have any tissues down here. I'm going to nut into that sock if I need to. Damn, dude. You know what I did last night? You got the other one. You got his brother right there. That, that one survived. What'd you do? Didn't jerk off. That's really? why that sock's still sitting there. Hmm. I, you know, sometimes you just... You fought your demons, dude. You fought off my you fought your demons. horrible jerk-off demons. That's pretty funny, man, because I, uh, <laughs> I was when I was listening to this book, they were talking about the difference between chemi- chemical addiction, or what was it called? Chemical dependency and addiction. And they're saying dependency is like, you know, if you stop drinking coffee, you get a headache. But addiction is like, if I don't drink coffee, I won't be able to focus and do this. And I was laughing like, I guess that makes sense. And it instantly flashed to me being like, I have to jerk off and watch porn, otherwise I can't fall asleep. <laughs> like, oh, damn, man. damn, that's fucking spot on. There's yeah, a difference between chemical dependency and addiction. That's what they're trying to say. Like, like the, I think Robert Dupont is the guy who's like, at least at the time of the book, who's like in charge of like, uh, like the scientific, like studying drugs and all that stuff. And they're, they're saying like they're leaving out like eighty percent of what comes down to it. It's pretty cool. Yeah, but isn't, isn't like a chemical addiction responsible for your thoughts to be like, I need this? Well, you're saying like your brain releasing dopamine and that. What sure. do you mean? You mean like neurotransmitters? I mean, no matter what, it's a chemical reaction. That's what they that's what they do for the research now. They just base it down to the pure chemical reaction. But it's like, but then if you look at people who are hooked on drugs, an overwhelming majority of them had like early childhood trauma to where it's like. All right, know. but like I'm, I think I'm addicted to dip. Yeah, which is interesting because so like, you tried the gum. So if that's the case, you well, should no, have I, had. I did nicotine. have the gum and it worked. It, and then I was driving home from Boston, and I was, like, falling asleep, and I was like, yeah, I'll have one. Fuck it. Yeah. Like, I didn't quit for good, but I I was, I mean, I didn't dip for, like, six months, so the chemicals mm-hmm. would have been gone. Exactly. But there's still, the chemicals were responsible for me enjoying it, which results in me being like, eh, I'll have another one. Or, the, but no, the, that that's a thing, but it left your system, so it was gone. And then yeah, it was kind of like. they were responsible like, originally for the good feeling I had when I did it. Okay. The nicotine, yeah. So now I'm like, I want that feeling again. But do you get the same feeling every time you do it? Or no. Is it tape? Exactly. So now it's like, I need oh, this to is, I, <laughs> I win. Yes. Yes, you definitely win. <laughs> you definitely win. Heroin and overdose is huh, just like a gotcha. light flu. Huh, gotcha. Heroin, no, I said Heroin not overdose. withdrawal is like a light flu. That's what they're saying. I Because they were saying people came back from Vietnam and it was like one out of five soldiers was doing heroin then. And when they came back and quit heroin, because they came to a normal environment, they were just like, most people just quit pretty easily. Okay. Check it out, dude. Yeah. Getting the rat, to get in a, that. Getting a rat utopia, I'll dude. I'll have to listen to that one book. Getting a rat utopia. I mean, yes. dude, it's fucking pretty good. He backs I it up pretty it. good. I'm just saying, I think you read these books or listen to these books and then you think they're fact. No, I, I just think it's interesting to think about. I don't, I never, I'm like, the I'm like Descartes, dude. Like I don't our, know what's real. It's like our dickhead being a plunger for other men's semen. Dude, that makes sense. No, it doesn't. That makes sense. That makes no sense. You got a fat mushroom tip? That makes no sense. Do you got a fat mushroom tip is what I ask you, bro. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> but that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> yeah, it does. You're, you know, you didn't you, live in the you day. Think your dick is there to plunge out. Your dickhead is shaped the way it is to plunge out other guys' cum. Yeah, dude. You, there was millions How of years before. How long do you think cum us? stays in a girl's vagina? Like twenty four hours. You you got to realize we were alive for millions of years to where like there wasn't any me too. People were running around. You saw a girl. You fucking jumped on her and fucked her, and then like you would be like, oh, and you would be like the third one that day. 
I'm talking about like we where we evolved from millions of years ago. So, all right. There's a ton of stuff. <laughs> You're thinking of like the 1970s. No, I'm dude. not. Dude, it used to. It used to the I'm letter- thinking of a. I'm thinking of a scientist right now. Yeah. Probably not a scientist, but diagnosing why the shape of our penis is the way it is. Evolutionary science. Yeah, a guy saying that's why it is. Yeah, it's evolutionary and, science is why so he, our how, things. How could you possibly determine that? It's just theory. It's scientific theory that I yeah, ascribe it's to. A theory. Yeah, exactly. Everything is, dude. Go come down this rabbit hole with me. No, I it don't. just makes I don't sense. Want to. It may, and you I also didn't to the same book. I, I it can't. turns you on too, knowing a girl just got just had sex. I already talked about this. This is where cuckold stuff I, comes I, from. Sure, but I'm saying sperm competition. I'm saying one of your theories that you heard is yeah. the shape of our dickhead yeah. is designed specifically to plunge cum out of women. <laughs> yes, dude. Okay, that makes perfect sense. It's literally a plunger. Wouldn't that, comes literally a liquid. Wouldn't that plunge your own cum then if you keep thrusting? You fucking, and then you're out, and then you guard her the rest of the night and make no, sure no one else gets in. Wouldn't that kind of fucking plunge yourself out? Because you're so your your tip, your hole is beneath in your front plunger, of it, but then so it you keeps come, coming in and passing it. When I come, I'm I'm in. I lock up. I dog. I'm like a dog. I lock in and yeah. I come and I don't move and then I just pull out and you're done. So your comes behind your dick. Yeah, but if you kept thrusting while you're coming, wouldn't some come get behind? The, wouldn't you plunge that out? It could. Very well could, yeah. But you're still the last dude. You've been plunging effectively for, let's say, two minutes. The so other, you've plunged the other dudes all the other come, guys come And then it's your turn. You just go, eh, and then you pop out. Do you see the other come come out after you plunge it? I can't speak to my ancestors in, this, in the fucking savannah, dude. I don't know. Huh. You have a gangbang. You'll know. <laughs> Interesting. I wonder. Well, you could probably consult some people that have had gangbangs. I will. And be like, do I you ever guarantee jar, jar other people's come out? Do, I mean, we have to. 24 well, hours later? No, I'm talking about the same day, dude. So, like, literally right after them. Maybe an hour. You know, maybe okay. she sat down and had lunch. <laughs> or maybe she laid on her back so another the cum dripped out. I don't know. Could be. You'd have to watch it. But I'll study a bukkake and see what's going on there. Yeah. It's kind of gross, too. Plunging it's a gross way to think about your dick. No one wants to do it, but... I mean, True. This, this, That's probably what's holding me back from grasping this. <laughs> is I think it's icky. Yeah. Not that I think it's just bullshit. Why? How is that bullshit? How is that bullshit? That's, it's that so somebody important. somebody in 2018 was like, you know the reason you have a dickhead that's shaped possible, like that? Possible. One of the possible reasons is to plunge yeah, it Yeah, but out. that's not how it was presented the first time I heard you say What it. about to say that when the female orgasm, the idea for female orgasm is to literally like vacuum come up and towards the uterus? I, I don't know shit about that. I don't know shit about female orgasms. I'm, I'm fucking sad. I don't my ever do it, that. Dude. That's well, what you, I heard. You, yeah. You heard that? Yeah. That women have when the they have orgasms. Chapter it, is the plunger. No, it wasn't a different book. It was a whole different thing. <laughs> that like when women come, the point of them coming is it cut, acts as like a vacuum and sucks the way their muscles fucking quiver. Nice. Theoretically, the way they fucking shake. <laughs> yeah. Well, that I mean that makes some sense. I don't know. Why not a plunger then? That doesn't make much sense to me. The uh, the plunge it out. Yeah. All right, that's fair. Well, you just don't like the idea of plunging cum, dude. No, I just think it's a fucking made up bullshit <laughs> idea that to to a, to be like, oh, that's true. Why do you think they're shaped like wacky. that, dude? Why do you think they're shaped like that? Nothing on our body is a mistake, dude. They all it was all for the advantage, you know, of like what it all serves a purpose. Yeah, your eyes can see, your fingers touch off your dick. And a your plunger, dick plunges. Bro. It's a plunger. Plunges cum. It's a two in one. It shoots cum and plunges it. Okay. It's a Swiss Army knife. So this was in, what, A Billion Wicked Thoughts or whatever? Yeah, yeah. All right, this fucking sex Bible you found? Yeah. You're a fucking Muslim, and that's your Quran, dude. No, it's not. You're an extremist. I'm you, saying, read, you listened to this book, no, no, and no. then you were like, everything in this is fact. See, if you were to be like, well, here's the, here's another theory about why it's not a plunger, I will fully listen to it and be like, okay. I never, But if you just say ever, no, if you just say, I don't like that, I say, well, hey, bro. Sorry. No, you say this is fact. I don't say it's fact. You I did. said it's you said, evolutionary you know science. You were evolutionary like, science. You were like, do you know why our dick's shaped like that? Yeah. Because it's a plunger. It plunges out other guys' cum. Okay. That was that was how it was presented. Fair. I still think you it's probably like, true. You know what? I heard this and I think it might be true. Fair. I approached it wrong. I approached it with fucking. I was too excited about you were my gung-ho dick plunger. Gung ho about your I was dick too plunger. Excited, dude. And uh, I'm skeptical. Hey, man. You got it. There's only way you can do. You have to experiment and see what's going on. I'm gonna. Well, you gotta plunge yourself. You gotta plunge. Instead of uh, you're gonna be so mad when you see ropes just fucking coming out behind you. Instead of <laughs> come though, I'm, I'll just use something else. Who are you gonna? I'll inject? fucking turkey base my girlfriend with like 
tapioca pudding. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> see if I plunge that out. I just plunge it. I'll see if it you're going to get some yoga. You're going to get some tapioca. You're going to get some yoga. You're going to get some yoga, dude. I, how long does be so pissed, how long does dude? jizz physically stay in a vagina? Like to the point know. where you can plunge it out with a dick. I don't know. That's what I want to know. I can't say. I I thought uh, jizz can stay inside a vagina for like. All depends what they're doing. Because if you come inside, but like of a physically girl and they enough, walk, it's enough that out. it's big enough that you can you can plunge it out. I think it stays inside from the time you do it, about like a fifteen minute drive to the mall, and then if they're walking in the mall, it comes out. <laughs> That's all I can say, dude. <laughs> it just falls out. It just starts coming out. Oh, oh gotta watch boy. It. Hey, man. Why'd you say to the mall? Ah, it's anecdotal, it sounded, dude. It pretty <laughs> factual. Ew, dude. That's <laughs> fucked up. That's a fucking terrible statement. <laughs> That's all I can say. I'd say about a 15-minute car ride, as soon as you pass Joseph A. Bank, it'll start coming out. <laughs> In Joseph A. Banks? Yeah. She's not going to like the way her underwear looks. I guarantee it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, dude. Woo! Fuck you. And fuck that <laughs> stupid fucking book. Fuck dude, this shit. You can't handle it. It was like when I found out we were animals. I couldn't handle it, dude. It took I knew, me a I've, I've known we were animals since like I know. Fifth I'm saying grade. me. When I firstly, when I like really wrapped my head around that, it fucked me up, dude. I would have been arguing too, but. No, this isn't some fucking <laughs> grand revelation for me. This is just me telling you you're retarded. Remember when you wanted someone to tell you? Well, yeah. I promise you, you're actually retarded on this. Um, dude, check out evolutionary science. You probably Dude, believe the ecosystem is real. You probably it's not F. Jordan Peterson. Yeah, but he still brought you down this hole. You probably don't even. Like, you probably think the eco, like the ecosystem's real. <laughs> I feel bad for you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I feel bad for you, bro. <laughs> oh my god, dude! I can't wait to get. I'm going home to Mechanicsburg tomorrow. You better I'm start doing your reading, dude. Turkey based, dude. We're dude. like fucking Sam Harris, Jordan Peterson, dude. People don't even watch that. No, All they gotta not. do is listen. to are <laughs> not. We're not even. We're fucking idiots. <laughs> Dude, that was a that actually was pretty funny. I watched a documentary on the ecosystem just being a complete invention, which is apparently true. Same with the food pyramid. The food pyramid. Oh fucking my god! Bullshit, it's bro. Such bullshit. Dude. The original food pyramid. Yeah, no shit. You want to get me started cares? on this? Who cares about all Why this? Why the fuck was candy and sweets on top, dude? We don't need that. <laughs> I love sweet treats. We need that up top. <laughs> but no, it's really funny though. The way so I didn't realize this, but ecologists, this, these like a few people, I think they're brothers. They're who founded ecology. Yeah. And they were like based off of like some. It's like medieval European religious ideas that there's like a balance to nature. There's like battler systems yeah. and like if you fuck with them, it fucks up the balance and all this stuff, which I was always like, yeah, it makes perfect sense. But then they went and like studied this and it turns, it's just pure chaos. It's so like people are constantly dying and trying to get to the top. So it's not like really, things affect one so like another. we don't need the bees. I mean, yeah, but there, it's... Who it's, wrote this? Where did you hear this? It's ecology. If you read ecology now, it agrees with it. Like they based... There is cause and effect, but they, they had the, these elaborate systems drawn out that were based off of, like, computer systems, and they were, like, it's just the same thing. So then, like, the younger ecologist came out and was like, nah, it's kind of just, like, random chaos, and it's not, like, there's not, like, clear systems that were drawn out. But then, like, this guy who was like, fuck that, I'm going to prove myself right, went out and he built this supercomputer, and he had people go out, like, all of his graduate students walk around outside and log every aspect of what was going on in nature. So it'd be like, he'd follow, like a like, a deer and be like, the deer just ate three leaves, and he'd write it down. <laughs> and the, the and they, off, I swear dude. to God, I don't care. And they'd I'm just in, they'd you do this. <laughs> and no one cares. No, they do. No one cares it's about funny. what you're saying. They input it into a computer, so the guy would be on a computer, being like, "The deer just ate three leaves." <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they go back out, like, "Oh, he took three sips of water out of his stream." And like a bee just landed on a flower, and they try to like put this whole thing of what was going on in a field into a computer, and the computer was just like spat out nonsense. Yeah, of course. <laughs> it's just so funny. They funded this probably millions of dollars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some guys like, I'm going to track nature and crack the code. <laughs> oh, he was saying there's going to be like There's going to be like, an elaborate patterns. pattern coming through. Isn't that what uh, in Beautiful Mind the guy tried to do? Did he? He was like trying to come up, like he was watching like birds. He was trying to come up with like a math it. equation. I'd have to see it again. I was, was watching just, like pigeons walk around. I was just more watching his hallucinations like, whoa. Yeah. I don't know what the fuck kind of math he was up to. Anyway, you've got some sick theories you're working with here. Dude, I'm telling you, the ecology, ecology, that's, ecology that's a sick is one. a fucking myth. That's dude. a sick one to bu- Well, they, they just say now it's like they don't go by like the old, like, there's like systems that balance nature. It's like. Uh, see, I don't. These are all very vague terms. Yeah, you'd have to get more into it. You have to watch a documentary. Like systems that balance nature. It's like. They had like maps where they would draw it out, like, and then this, and then the soil does this to that, and then this does like feedback loops, and they were like, none of this is fucking true. Okay. So it was just funny to think that. And then if it, it's funny when people talk about the balance of nature, it's sick to be like, 
Because no one reads about ecology to be like, that's actually not true. Like, what? Fuck you. Yeah. It's like, go read an ecology book. Does anybody react that way? I'm ready. I'm getting ready for someone to. to you were like, pretty chill about it. What'd you say it. about ecology, dude? <laughs> You're telling me nature is in systems? No one's going to... You'll get... I'll get so with that. No one's going to argue with you because no one knows... Exactly. There's nothing to... You got to watch the doc. What's the name of the doc? Uh, and the loving <laughs> grace of machines or something. I forget. Fuck yeah. It's tight. I heard uh, there's a, pod, or a doc we need to watch on Netflix, uh, The Wild Wild World. Dude, what is that? That's Is that the cult thing? Yeah. I'm actually... I don't I'm, know anything about it. I'm stoked that. on that. I'm going I'm to watch that. Watch sure. Next yeah. week, get That'll ready for a sick review. That'll be tight. Damn. What else you got? You got any more theories here? I'm, dude, I've just been chilling, man. Doing me. You know how I do it. Listen Hell to my yeah. audio books. I, I really... The whole the drug war book is fucking cool. That's interesting to listen to. There was a lady who... Uh, her she was it was in it was in Juarez and her daughter was like fourteen and started like dating this guy. Dude eventually like got her pregnant and like murdered her with a hammer. The mom was like super pissed, dude. The Madre was the Madre like, was pissed no one Madre plunged was, out that cum. I mean, yeah, someone could have got behind him and done that, but the mom was like, You're just bashing my daughter's head in and went to him. He, apparently he was a Zeta. No one knew they didn't yeah. know this. So like she like went and approached him, nothing happened, went to the police, they were like, Yeah, chill the fuck out. And then she eventually found him like the Mexico City or some like state capital or whatever the fuck they were, went to like the capital steps and like went to the governor like you have to do something and he was just kind of like chill lady and he shut the door like shut her out and someone came up and just shot her in the back of the head and then nice. took her away yeah it's fucking wild to think about yeah, Mexico yeah, yeah. The, they've totally lost control like it's totally yeah. gone they have no control the gangs there are really scary she went to like she like was telling her story like this is a guy that murdered my daughter with a hammer and the, the guy literally was like uh huh thank you shut the door and someone came up was like pop and dragged her off. <laughs> Dude, that shit is fucking wild. Yeah, I was. I told you the main board had a fucking yeah thread on that for like six years of just like you, every once in a while I would get bumped back to the front page and you'd see like just dudes crucified on the streets and like use, dudes fucking like heads off, dicks yeah. in their mouths. Oh. There was one time I think it might have been the Zetas that they had a truck full of dead bodies, like full of dead bodies. Mm -hmm. Not like a pickup truck, like a fucking truck, an yeah. 18 wheeler, Jesus like a, like a U-Haul van. And they were just throwing bodies out onto the highway for miles. Ugh. Like, dude, they're fucking animals down there. They have an interview with this one guy who was in the Zetas. Build a wall. Dude, they had this guy. You build a wall. He was, uh, he was in the Zetas and he, I think they got, when he was 14, he joined. He like went to this guy, I forget the guy's name, Sevilla or something. He went to this guy's house and was like chilling with his older cousin. And it, this is what he says. There's like two stories, but he says that he like snuck in the truck and then like got there and was like sick. I'm at, I, I wanted to meet this guy, and they were killing someone. They're like, "Well, we'll kill you unless you shoot someone and join up with us." So from the time he was like, he said a lot, most of the people who kill people are like 14 to like 21 ish. He's like they use a lot of like That's child sick. soldiers. Yeah, so he kind of like, like ISIS used those kids. Yeah, so he was just he was just rolling <laughs> he was just rolling around. He's like from like 14 to 21, just snorting coke, shooting people, doing like like burning people alive, and he was like. It's every day you wake up yeah. and it's like you have to kill someone every fucking day. Damn, it sucks. I don't remember any of the other fucking names. It's like oh. the Monterey cartel, the names of the cartel. Yeah. And the yeah. Zetas now. So then, yeah, the Zetas was the one they were talking. There's like a bunch of them. I forget, I forget yeah. them too. But the guy was basically saying like there's certain routes for like smuggling that like go, you know, through different routes of the um, kid in the United States. And they're like, if you have that route, it's like you you just fucking run everything. And then so the whole time it's like, trying to kill each other over route so it's like never ending yeah so if they were just like we need a wall dude well if they were just like well fuck it it's all legal then they're done they're fried or, if we, the, or if we build a wall to stop the cartels dude they're gonna dig under it, it's never gonna stop we're gonna stop them <laughs> they're never gonna stop. we're gonna stop them baby. we gotta build like a nice slotted fence we're gonna we're gonna build a wall we're gonna stop it yeah what happens when the wall's there tunnel nope Tunnel. Nah, we increase security. mail flying it in, driving it in through mattresses. Dude. Nah. <laughs> We're stopping that. Now, nah, if we put dudes on ATVs behind a wall, we'll definitely shut down shut the drug board. <laughs> shut it down. One of one of the cartel, I think it, it wasn't El Chapo. One of them had a fucking submarine. Dude, these guys yeah, have more money nuts. than God. Yeah. It's unbelievable. That's hilarious. Though he has a sub. A sub. There's yeah, there was some really fucking. Well, no, crazy what they shit. what they really that they do is they get um. I think now this isn't as effective because they started – used to be able to just walk across from America into Juarez, no problem. And if you're American, you're just like, hey, I'm American. They go, yeah. go on right back. So they would recruit kids. Like a lot of kids would go to Mexico to hang out, and they'd recruit American Mexican kids to be their little mules. And then they that way you're back and forth all the time, and it's like no problem. 
But then they use those kids. So they recruit American Mexican kids. And then they use them to go to the States and kill their rival's family who live in the United States. Sick. So the guy was like, I was like going to like colleges and like murdering people doing really, he's like, I don't want to talk about what I did in the States. It was really fucked up. Yeah. There's, and, the, and America's pretty complicit with all this shit. Like there's banks and shit all along mm-hmm. the border and. Yeah, dude. Real. Yeah. It's, it's a real problem. No, nah, but if they get that wall up, dude, it's going to be. The wall's going to shut it down. Done, dude. It's fucking all done. All we need is a wall. We need a physical wall. Good luck. Good luck. So, yeah. Good luck getting over that. <laughs> Good luck flying or mailing drugs or like using your millions or billions of dollars to maybe start like a trucking company and nope. outfit trucks with a couple kilos of cocaine. You'll never get around that wall, not a, dude. Not a 15-foot wall. That wall is going to fucking x-ray scan everything. Not a 15-foot wall. You're not getting around that with that's a million bucks. That's the dumbest bucks. fucking thing. I know. That drives me fucking crazy. That's a bad one. Well, that sounds sick. If you were like, if you really couldn't stand Mexicans, I was like, yo, I'm going to build a wall that's going to block all Mexicans. You'd be like, fuck yeah, dude. Fire that thing up. <laughs> Fire that wall. <laughs> yeah, I don't. It's tough to defend the wall. It's tough. Whatever. I mean, anything that bothers liberals is kind of funny. To me. That is funny. That is the funny so part. So every of once in a while, I'll be like, "Yeah, fucking build it, dude. Build it. Get the wall." <laughs> I can't believe you didn't say that. It sucks for people who are that dumb who can't like latch onto the irony of that. You know what's interesting? Or be like, "Yeah, dude, build the wall." Because that that march I was talking about. There's a. I always talk about the main board, and we need to push Reddit more. Yeah. But uh, there's yeah, because we only have like. It, not not enough of you are on the Reddit. Get on the Reddit. It's growing. But um, on the main board, there's this thread about um, the march, mm-hmm. march for law, and everybody's now very second, anti Second Amendment, and very, uh, very liberal. Like everybody yeah. on the main board's like ultra liberal. Dude, do you you know why though? Which is which is weird because I I posted in it. I started fucking arguing with people. Did you really? Well, because there's this one guy that's Republican. Yeah. He's like, there's one pro Trump guy. And he he takes on an army of liberals every fucking day in there. Damn. It's so funny because he's he comes off as kind of a fucking idiot a yeah. lot of times. Obviously, he's pro Trump, mm-hmm. like he's actually pro Trump. Yeah, but um, all these liberals, and then like I've I've, I've been on this website since like two thousand nine. So it's like I've seen what these exact same guys were posting. Ah, uh, so, so you like, still have the screen. So grabs. I was like, no, I don't screen grab it, but I'm like, dude, remember when you guys all used to say the N word all the time? What'd they say? No one responded to that. <laughs> but then somebody said something. I was like, yeah, Dairy Queen said the N-word like last week. Typed out N-I-G-G-E-R. Oh, you were telling me that. I was yeah. like, these people are fucking, it's crazy. Dude, I'm telling you, it's like if you go on online dates now. That's right, Dairy Queen, you cocksucker. Most people go on online dates who are single. And if you go on these online dates, if you go on like Tinder and all that shit, it's just girls being like, I'm a feminist. I don't support this. I don't. They all get like, it's just liberal women espousing liberal shit. 80% of it. Find me a good Republican so when you go on, woman. When you go on dates, dude, you have to sit... The Spud's dealing with it right now. He goes on dates, and he just like... It's just them like... Spud man. But what is, this is so fucked up. And like, I, I can just be like, yeah, whatever. Fucking crazy. Yeah. Spud, is, he can't bite his tongue. So he's out here battling fucking fem Nazis on Spud dates, Spud man's the... So, F, well, this guy's name so is... so funny. This guy's name is FSU Dan. <laughs> is it really? <laughs> yeah. FSU Dan. and Because he's a Florida State fan. Uh-huh. But now everybody made fun of him because it sounded like fuck Sudan. <laughs> so now his name's fuck Sudan, dude. Well, it's funny to think of it. Like, That's Spud out there. Battling. Being out on a date and be like, well, well actually, you know, the glass ceiling. Yeah. Like, fuck you, man. It's, Imagine I mean, being on a date. They, they hold all the power because you want some pussy and you're just yeah. like, yeah, fine, whatever. You got to plunge out. So next thing you know, you're on the main board like, eh, he's thinking of me. Uh. It's all, dude. I, I that I, I, this has definitely been said before by someone, but it's like the idea of like, like we need girls to run the you know, like run everything, and it's like so you're talking like okay, if, even an all girl NATO, it's like that's what fifty girls trying to be friends. Yeah, dude, let me know how that works. Yeah, we need all girls to run it if it's a fucking bake sale. Sure, <laughs> let the bitches fucking handle it, but we need men. I don't understand why they think we need white girls men. going to run everything, and it's just like if well, girls ran stuff, we wouldn't be wars. It's like well, that's the dumbest shit yes, ever. Yes, there'd be yeah. more. And they'd be horrendous. Yeah, there'd be wars out of nowhere with allies. You'd yeah, be talking. Yeah. You'd be like, what did I do wrong? Yeah. Like, Fuck you, dude. You know what you did. Yeah. There'd just be like wars it's for like, like last three week days. you talked to France. Yeah, just because. I dude. saw you like France's Instagram. <laughs> That's why I nuked London. Yeah. It'd be crazy, dude. Yeah, women are stupid fucking bags of tits, dude. Oh man. Fuck them. Oh, oh female <laughs> has there been female dictatorships? Uh, I guess not because it would take like one rock to the head and they'd be like yeah. okay okay we're done okay okay sorry Ew, uh, I mean there was like Cleopatra I think maybe I don't know she was a strong white woman she was fucking she was very white 
Well, she Cleopatra was white. Yeah. <laughs> Whiter than she was black. She was white. <laughs> no, she was Arab, but... But yeah, that's, that, it cracks me up. It's like, and dude, I know that for a fact. Put fucking 30 chicks in a room for six months. It's like, I, you're not going to see peace and harmony, dude. How dare you? You're just not. Why are you doing this? I'm just saying. I hate, right? I read this shit all the time. Like, it's time for women to be in charge. And it's like, you guys probably were at some point, dude. Not, yeah, probably not. Actually. Not really. Yeah, definitely. Not really. I don't know. I, mean, I, I hope. Queens and shit. Yeah. But. True. There's probably some strong, stable boy. Giving him a fucking good piping, good, dude. Goomta, dude. Good yeah. plunging, <laughs> just a classic plunge. But yeah, that is, that does crack me up. It's like I just don't see women interacting that friendly with each other. Well, the, the, here's the weird thing: a lot of these liberals are like edgy liberals. Oh yeah, that are like I love, I love liberal edge, dude. I yeah. love liberal edge, and and it's weird too because they all and just like Facebook, it's like they post dumb shit Republicans are saying all day. Well, hit me with an example of like a good liberal edge post. Calling somebody like a Trump retard. Okay. Like a herder. Oh, yeah. I like Trump. I'm a fucking yeah. retard. That's li- that's liberal edge. It's like, that's dude, ledge, don't, don't dude. say retard. Yeah, exactly. That's the funniest I thought part. You were a lib, dude. Don't be doing that. But um, they they all post like dumb shit Republicans are saying. Yeah. Which is bountiful. There's a million yeah. dumb fucking things Republicans are saying because Republicans are pretty fucking dumb. Yeah. Like death penalty to fucking people who sell opiates. <laughs> yeah. That's fucking insane. Build a wall. All that shit. But it's it's just so fucking hypocritical on both sides constantly. Yeah. It's like yeah, you could go find a Republican website where they do the same with the left. Yeah, because the left is doing and saying dumb shit all yeah. day. Also, even if they're not, they do the Obama memes are so funny. Obama memes like, of the shit. Obama and our healthcare, dude. It's the funniest fucking thing. Crap, the thing about the dude crapping that meme makes me laugh so fucking hard. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we're fucked up, dude. We don't have a to pick a side that hard makes you a fucking idiot, in yeah, my opinion. Are we are like? Dude, I mean, I know you don't like evolutionary science, but, like, we're evolved to be in, like, No, I little... just don't like people that picked up evolutionary science this year. We're evolved. <laughs> Dude, I've been into this. We're evolved to be in a tight-knit little, like, tribal communities, and it's like, we're totally fucked and fragmented. And all of our happiness comes from consumption. So it's like, of course, we're on CNN fucking yelling at each other. We have you nothing. Like, you sound like Sebastian Younger. A little it's tribe. I, I bailed on his book. Really? That was kind of boring, yeah. He was just a super rich dude who was like, mm, my life was hard. Yeah, but we're fucked. Like we're totally fucked up. No, we're not. Stephen, you're like I. You know, it's things like, are going great. I mean, they kind of maybe. I yeah, don't know. Imagine living back in the day when you had to plunge cum out of people. True. Things right. are, things are good right That's now. That's tough, but I think we hit like a nice happy medium, and then kind of just like started getting fucked. Was your up. appendix used to eat pussy? What, what was appendix? your appendix? What was that for? My appendix. Yeah. Oh, the thing that like yeah. is in my body. That was for pussy. Process raw meat, bro. Now, now we don't need it. Yeah, because I don't. We don't eat raw meat anymore. That's what it's for. Theory. Some people say that's that's a good theory. It's pretty tight. I heard it was to process grass. Really? Eat grass. I tried to. Eat, I told you I tried to eat grass once. Nice. When, when, I, was, when I was a young boy, I was. I used like, to eat grass when I was a little kid. That's disgusting, dude. Yeah. It tastes like shit. I remember being like, like, dude, like if shit. I can just start eating grass, I can just eat wherever I'm at. And I ate like a two blades, and I was like, nope, fuck this. I'm eating pop tarts, dude. This <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to think about this episode so far. Whatever. It's good. Yeah. It's fun. Get it out there. I, I'd like to hear your thoughts, though. I like how I think I, it's important for the listeners to get a hold of some theories. I mean, dude, it's a... Because you covered, you covered everything. You covered a lot of ground. Zetas. No doubt. Fuck ecology. Yeah. Well, fucking, no. Just old ecology. So you're saying New that, ecology has... They sorted itself out. New ecology knows what's going on now. Oh, okay. They just were founded on like completely false assumption. It's kind of like every other field. Yeah, pretty much. No, like definitely. Yeah. What else? What else is founded on? The Earth was flat. True. I mean, literally everything. True. That hasn't been disproved. Literally every. <laughs> no, but literally every single. Field. Yeah, dude, I'm, I'm not hating on the field of ecology, but that that idea from ecology still lives. That's my point. Mm. You know what I mean? People, if you say the Earth's flat, people are like you're a fucking idiot. But like when you say the balance of nature, everyone goes like, yeah, fuck yeah. Really? Yeah. I think a lot of people are like. Talking about the balance of nature and being like, yeah, fuck yeah. Yeah, dude. What is the balance? <laughs> exactly. I don't want to get into this again. <laughs> exactly. Because that That's doesn't... My current... My biggest worm brain right... This, I've had this for a while, is the fact that all all of our happiness is supposed to come from buying shit. So it's like... That's my biggest worm brain right now. I think we're fucked. When, I, when I'm out and I see people just like on their phones, just like no one talks to each other, I just think we're fucked, dude. We're just a slow, we're on a slow drain down, dude. And you don't want to say your dick's a plunger. 
Before. Well, see, I don't know, because the whole everybody on their phone thing, I don't know. There's been a lot of, it's been throughout history that people have looked at technology and innovation mm-hmm. negatively. Like, people just sitting there watching TV all day. That's bad. Or, like, books. When books came out, they're like, what, are you just sitting in your room reading? You should be out talking to people, not learning. Yeah. I mean, think of how much you can do with your phone. I, yeah, they're, they're obviously, convenient social for sure. networking is... The phone, the, I'm not against phones. Social media is the part of it that I think is, like, fucked up and weird. It is, it is weird, but I think it it's, might not be fucked it's up. Bad you never know. I mean, they've definitely they've done studies to where, like, it's not good for you at all. But again, it's scientific theory. But they've charted, like, suicides, this and that, and a lot of it coincides with social media. Like an increase in suicides. Maybe. I think it's fucked up. I, it's a whole other life. It's like you have your life, then you have this other life on a fucking digital platform that you have to tend to. Whoa. Exactly. Maybe that's preparing us to Ascend? shed our fucking... This, this, we're in a cocoon right now, dude. <laughs> we're just humans in a cocoon. True that. We're just we're ready to ascend nah, to the dude. point where we coexist with technology entirely. It's the Matrix. Yeah. That is funny to think of people like, I would never join. It's like, dude, you're in it, basically. What, you're, the Matrix? You're basically one no, foot in the fucking, fucking not cocoon. at all. Yeah, no, you're not. A little bit. A little bit. You got one foot in the fucking water tank. What, for having a Facebook page? Yeah, it's Facebook, fucking TV. It's like, you don't really, no one really does anything. It's like you just like buy different stuff. Yeah, because we've evolved to the point where we don't need to be out in the fucking woods running from shit. I'm not saying that that's bad. I'm not saying I'm against it's, like agriculture if you were shit. out running in the woods, you'd be like, man, I wish I was sitting on a couch watching a TV. I wish we could all live like that. That'd be nice. True. But I'm saying that there's a middle ground that people are missing. To where you're still excited and running around. And then you don't go home and just sit on fucking facebook and read people's thoughts all day yeah that's a bad no one's like, it's like to me it's like yeah, it's I, like that's all i see when i go out in public now and i see people actively snapchatting it's it freaks me the fuck out yeah it's a little annoying like just watching that dunk contest last night every mm-hmm. single person in the audience was mm-hmm. holding up their phone it's weird i'm now, telling granted, you it was black people white people do and it they too love, white people do they it too love get it. the fuck out of and here. then they all <laughs> and then they all talk to each other on speakerphone and held it up to their face dude Classic please, black lady move. Please, dude. Classic black lady Classic move. Classic Shane Gillis, dude. Classic. Classic Shane Gillis hits the bump, dude. Pussy <laughs> jet cord. Dude. <laughs> you ever see black people in the grocery store talking on the phone? Yeah. on the Like I, on their headphones? On the headphones. I, yeah. I didn't know you could use headphones. I actually did learn that from black people, that Just you could use the Apple headphones and talk on the phone. But not talking. It's, it's like the a, craziest thing it's I've a ever strange seen. Conver- yeah. Both on the phone. Just going about their day. It's once every five seconds. And they'll yeah. be like, yeah. Yeah, and yeah. And keep looking at shit <laughs> yeah, and looking yeah. at shit. And then you'll be like, wait, are they on the phone? And then a yeah. minute later, they'll be like, hmm. That is strange. <laughs> it's that, wild. That's something I, I didn't know that that part of the, I thought that was like the volume control. I didn't know you could speak into that. Yeah. Till I, I would see black people food shopping and it's being like, yep. And then like five minutes later, I'm like, what the fuck are they doing? Yeah. I, when, I worked, yeah that. when I worked at Ardmore, I, people would come in still on the phone. Mm-hmm. And like I, I was talking to them yeah. as a customer, and they would be talking to the, on the fucking phone. Yeah, but like again, just like you're while saying, we're talking. it's not like if I'm at a counter and I'm like, oh yeah, da, 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 I'm having like, uh, uh, hold on a second. But this is like a, you don't really know what's going on, dude. dude. Black people phone is there, such a mystery. I, I've always wondered about that because I'm it's like, like being a walkie-talkie. It's just on, and you both go about your day. Yeah, but it's bizarre. It's like it's the weirdest fucking thing. I always wondered, like, I always, when I first encountered that, I was like, is that like a, like a self-conscious thing? Or are they like kind of, is that like a way to deal with social anxiety where you're like, you just call someone and then you're just like walking around like fucking Acme? I don't know. It seems like it's just the ultimate not giving or a fuck Or are there just about... girlfriends that fucking annoying to where they can't go anywhere without like staying on the phone the whole time? You think it's a girlfriend problem? I see girls. And so you I've blame seen... women a lot for things. I know I get dubbed a racist a lot from you because that's you're a liberal Marxist. But... Yeah, but I'm open to being. If someone's like, I'll be like, oh, you're right. Yeah. Never mind. Well, I I'm burn. Not off, actually... I'll burn off any old part of myself, dude. That's just classic. <laughs> yes, you're like a phoenix, <laughs> basically, dude. But no, I mean that's true. I, that's yeah, something I got to work on. Thanks for pointing that out, Shane. <laughs> yeah, no problem. No problem. But no, you're I handling this like a girl. <laughs> <laughs> I, that is something I yeah dude that's I've noticed that and I'm always like why what the fuck is that I mean that's like the classic, oh the black people on the phone thing that's yeah. the classic walk in the middle of the street when there's snow on the sidewalks I'm like oh, there's snow on the sidewalks and like June I'll, I see a lot of black people who walk 
not in the middle of the street, but they don't use the yeah. sidewalk. They use they just like scurry amongst the cars. And I I'm always say kinda scurry like, to describe how I saw a lady know. actually scurry. That's, she was fucking walking. It's a very fast animalistic term. It's a demeaning term. You can scurry, dude. Uh, I can scurry. It's just a demeaning term. It's usually when here's the thing. It's not a stroll, I'll tell you that. It's a fucking you're over the middle of the street. I see some strolls. I see some hard in the middle of the street across the street. I was. That's I think the that's the only way I would describe. I think how the middle. Black the middle of the scurry sh- implies that they're almost being polite to the cars. They're like, "Oh shit, I got to cross for you." Eh, I'm just saying. A I'm fast talking walk. a stroll across the street. I, well, here's what I think it is. I think the sidewalk is like the slow lane for black pedestrians, and the, and the like the side of the road is the it's a speed lane. If you're like a black dude, you're in a rush, you just fucking take the fucking see, you take I, the side I, of the road. <laughs> I see. I see. I don't, I've I've asked people about that because it's perplexed me. I don't get an answer. I don't. I've never had black. I think one guy explained it to me. I just I forget what he said. What? Why black people? I've asked him like, "What's up?" Traffic? Yeah, I'm like, "Why do you guys walk in the fucking street?" And I've had most people go, "I don't know, man." I don't really understand that either it is that's very perplexing i'd love to get some feedback if anyone knows dude. And, yo black listeners <laughs> please up, dude. please why, why do you guys cross the street like that and i also i did crack the socks at the water park thing what's that for some reason a lot of black people don't like their if your country that's one thing but a lot of like the from like the cities and like east coast black kids don't like their feet touching the ground for so i've from dating people and having girlfriends and shit and meeting their families like it's very Japanese. Black people no, they don't like their bare feet touching the outside world. Then when you get inside, you it is kind of Japanese. You pop it off and you have house shoes that are yeah. just inside. I've adopted this in my house, it's pretty sick. But the when I've like I like to walk around outside barefoot and I dude, I met my ex wife's dad in bare feet and like the whole family was just like aghast. Like, what are you doing to go inside? That's disgusting. I was like, What the fuck? So I think that's why they don't like to go to the water park and let their bare feet touch the ground. Mm. That's why you check on the socks. Nice. Mystery debunked. Fuck, I had another one. Oh, you know how uh, this is going to be tough because it's all facial expressions. Yeah. Because I was, uh, there's like a meme and I've seen black comics do it where they make fun of white people for doing like the, like that weird, like yeah. raise your lips when you see someone. You just did it perfectly, like, yeah. Yeah. Like when you're walking, mm-hmm. just being like, black people have a face too. What is it? Watch any fucking sporting <laughs> event. Watch black I dudes. Wish you could see this. Black dudes raise their eyebrows. Ah, fuck, I can't describe it. It's like you can, yeah, you'd have to just do it. You have to take a picture. Well, they're saying like, see, that a lot of times when black dudes make fun of white dudes, they they pick. I mean, it's the same thing when white dudes make fun of black dudes. They pick the cream of the white crop to where like there's white people. Who no, are I so do, white. every white person does that. Does the, the face? Fucking... There was one guy who did a. Oh my god, they like. Using everything as a question, like, so are you going to go or... And, like, that one, he hit me with that, and I'm like, damn, that's good. Mm-hmm. I catch myself doing that. I'm like, you motherfucker, whoever you are, whatever comedian that yeah. was. So, uh, are we going to go there or... <laughs> Dude, uh, that cracks me the fuck up. Yeah, true. But there right. is there is a level of whiteness that, like... I mean, maybe our kids will... We can hope our kids can get to, but, like, that we will never know. You what played you, you played too much. There's a level of, like, super whiteness when it's just, like... Patagonia jacket. You've never touched like a rake in your life. Like I, there's white people who are like beyond, beyond. Like we're obviously white and pretty, very white. Nah, I ball. But there's like a level of whiteness that like you and I even don't. At least I don't. I get you know. So I've worked for people. I've in seen their, it. I've worked for people in their houses and stuff. And like I, I'm looked at as scum on some level in like the white fucking pyramid. But you, when you see like a super fu- like you ever take a whole white family out where like the dad's wearing like. High rubber rain boots, and like the sun's just like prancing around. These are all, really? <laughs> yeah. The high rubber rain boots got Dude, me. Yeah, I'm it's telling so you, man. True. I've seen like a white fat with a dad's wearing high rubber rain boots and like a fleece, and like the little kids are just kind of like they look like no one's ever even like pushed them a little bit. Yeah, but no, I've seen that for sure. I think it's just being rich as fuck, really. Yeah, it's just, just being tight. rich. There's uh, yeah, I want I mean, my kids to be like uncomfortably white, dude. Yeah, what. <laughs> What? This this is sketchy around here. Like Jaden Smith. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <gasps> he yeah. is the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. How ironic is that? Jaden Smith. He's basically the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Well, he's like the f- part two, really. But he's the heir to the throne. He is, dude. He sucks. He's pretty bad. I he's... mean, dude, you have no fucking grasp on reality. No. Your dad's your dad is a movie star, and then you're born. It's like, dude, no matter what you do, sucks. Yeah. Sucks. There's no way you can ever compare to Will that. Will Smith sucks too right now. He's doing all these like internet videos. Oh, he's getting real like Tyrese promotional? Yeah. Or like 
inspirational, I should say. Yeah, it sucks. I actually saw a. Uh, it's real weird. I saw a security guard watching Will Smith pipe like hump her up the other day, or hump her up, pipe fucking pipe her up. That's a bad one too. What are you saying? Pump her up. I, I was watching this. I was watching a lady oh, like a girl. I it was walked a lady. by. Yeah, I walked by a security desk and I like caught a glimpse of this computer and it was just Will was Smith. Was she thick? Uh, I don't remember, honestly. It wasn't a thick security guard. I don't remember. Black I, lady security guards tend to be thick as fuck. True, but I don't think she was particularly. I don't think I've ever seen a fit. I think she was in training. A skinny black security guard in my life. Ah, uh, you. It's a black lady them. behind a desk. It depends how many the years they got on them, man. I know, but that's a thick. That's a thick guard. Yeah, I mean that's that's a fucking that's pretty unanimous or unanimous <laughs> around security guards. It's a thick. But lady. that's yeah. I mean they put the years in, man. You get. I mean, if you sit on the night shift anywhere. Yeah, true, but there's not that many white lady security guards. There's not. So that I'm sure they would. I've seen be a thick. couple. I'm I've sure they couple. would be thick. No, I've seen a couple, and they get pretty haggard. Yeah. That's a tough <laughs> fucking, that's a tough job, dude. Like, low-level security. Unless you're a black lady that sits there like... I need to see that face, dude. I can't I can't jump on board with it yet. You'll see it. I know, now I'm, I'm going to look for it it's, now. It's raised eyebrows, shut mouth. I just get high fives. Just, yeah, I just get high fives. What do you mean? Like, when I see black people, usually it's hooking me up with, like, a high five. Oh, for sure. I'm not saying that's how like they say hi. One. I'm just saying that's <laughs> oh, a... Re- oh, you're, I thought you were like saying it's like a... weird resting face. I thought you were saying it's a walk by, like... I thought you were saying when oh, you look no. at white people when you walk by, they do that, like... No, no, no. Whatever. It's that. like, you just... Did I? <laughs> yeah, we all do it. It's very easy. <laughs> the best way to describe it is, uh, it's like an elevator door closing, and someone's... Or, like, you say hi to somebody, like... Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but I'm not saying that's... I'm saying... So it's a double eyebrow raise, kind of mouth shut, just kind of like... Like, I see that you're saying hi to me. I'm not returning. No, no, no. It has nothing to do with a, okay. a, a salutation. Got you. It's, it's just strictly resting. just a resting black face. RBF. That I've seen oh, time okay. and time again. So that saying makes no, it's a physical. Gotcha. You, have to, you have to manipulate your face there's to make the face. So rest, it's not like a resting face. But what about, this is a white face a resting face? Or that's just like no, a, it's, it has nothing to do with that. I'm saying that was an observation. It's a face white people make. It's a default. This is a face black people make sometimes. But to express, like, like to, what are they trying to emote? Is it just kind of like in like standard standby mode? I don't know. I mode? see it in uh, basketball a lot. On the bench? No, like on the court. You'll, it's a weird. Hmm. Yeah. I gotta check it out. I'll show you. It's so it's just like a it's like a screensaver for it a is. black face. That's exactly the perfect gotcha. example. Gotcha. It's like a real fucking I don't give a fuck face. Hmm. I've see, always I always felt bad. See it in rappers getting interviewed a lot. Yeah, I've always felt bad for uh yeah, <laughs> I've also bad for young black men not being able to smile in pictures from like age fifteen to like twenty five. You're so gay well. I think that's smile. what it comes from. Yeah, I because I, I'll like see you. I have friends and I go on their Facebook and I would just be like. What the fuck are you guys doing? Let yeah. me see a, they like get on and it's just like, I got to act fucking hard as fuck right it's now. It's a face that kind of is <clears> like, <throat> I'm being hard right now. Gotcha. It's kind of just like. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's a, uh, well, you know. Yeah, that's true. That's weird. It's the white man's fault. I mean, I, I'm not going to go into the, my drug war theory about the culture of terror in the inner cities, but I mean, <laughs> go ahead. Yeah, you're woke. You're woke to it now. It's different than woke. That's what being woke is, though. Is being True aware that. Of well, but being why. truly woke. If you're truly woke, you don't call it that. You're just like, yeah, yeah check out this shit. I know it's no big deal. True. I'm not woke, bro. V woke. Nah. Yeah, Yo, you V woke. People might say it. People you're say woke. that about me. People do say I'm woke. Yeah. A lot. Yeah, a lot of times. People are like, damn, dude, you're. I've woke heard as fuck. almost everyone. I've I've heard <clears throat> so many people say Matt McCusker is woke. Dude, I mean, I hear that all the time, <laughs> just from you and uh, one other person. <laughs> <laughs> you're a spud. <laughs> no. no. Right. Boy, Steve. Where are we at? We gotta be well over hour an thirty, hour, hour twenty seven. Yeah, this is rambling. Yeah, this that's is a good. Rambling cast. Good, dude. This is this is some good stuff. Good. No, I agree. It's coming from the fucking. You're just. This is like just. Oh. It does make sense though, as like why black kids can't smile, why they don't smile, because it's like you're just a fucking pussy if you smile in pictures. You have to be like, like number one sign, frown. Be like, it's just a weird idea to do, to take a picture, to just be like hold up, let me fucking instead of like I'm like. Fuck, I got to smile real quick or I got to do some weird <laughs> yeah, shit. It's yeah, like yeah. worrying about your face but being like, <laughs> you got to look yeah. nasty, dude. That's what I was saying in that fucking, when I did that show last week. What? There's, there's a, it was a black show, so there was a photographer. Uh-huh. And like he's snapping pictures of people. I can't, I don't know how to act. You don't know how to appear iconic? Yeah. To like, be like... like Skeet was, <laughs> Skeet was standing there. Skeet was standing there next to me at the bar and the photographer comes by and he's like, hey, yo, 
at, requested the photographer to take a picture of him standing at the bar, did a fucking pose, and then just went back to talking to me like it was nothing. Yeah, I wonder about that, and man. And then anytime he took a picture of me, I just I couldn't make a real face. I had to make a funny face. I fucking hate it. Was it was so awkward. Like, I'm sitting there at a table, and he's trying to get a picture of me, like, laughing in the crowd. And I was like... <laughs> I guess you have to be like... Uh, that's funny. To be like, we got a white guy laughing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, I wonder... Uh, maybe if the more you think about your legacy, the more you get into, like, photos. To where, like, you'd be like... People are gonna see this one day, and where people take pictures of me, I'm like, that's ah, fucking up. Someone throws that out, and fucking <laughs> yeah, burns it. Looks like, like you're fighting off paparazzi. <laughs> yeah. like, Dude, get that fucking like, camera out of my face. On. Or also, it's just a weird fake smile where I'm like, I think a part of me is like, people are gonna see this. I don't want to fucking. You know Anytime I, mean? I look back at like a high school picture where I was trying to look tough. Yeah. I mean, even though I always took pictures like that to be a dickhead, mm-hmm. it's still embarrassing. Like, yeah. You see a picture of me like, yeah, like head raised, fucking. I always, I always cheesed. I mean, I cheesed in most of our pictures. True that. But it's like... Yeah, you're fucking... Every once in a while, you'd be like... Nice, fucking cool Try to be a fucking dickhead. I always hate when I would take pictures with people, and they'd be like, all right, now we're going to do one that's just, like, silly, and I'd just be like, dude, can I please get the fuck out of here? Yeah, pictures suck ass. Ugh. Especially when you're ugly. I'm I'm taking it back to Black Teenager, dude, and just fucking... I'm sorry. I do that a lot. I never do. You see a lot of pictures of me, like, fucking... smile, or I just, like, (laughs) try to just not... If I try to not make a face at all, I just look like a fucking psycho. Yeah. That's, that's tough. <laughs> yeah. It's a tough one. Classic. It's tough. tough um, What else is going on? I got those shows I talked about. Sick. April 25th. Buy a fucking ticket. To Helium. April 25th. One. Helium. Please. Um, yeah. The other one, the punchline. It's whatever. If you want to come. Don't really give April a fuck. April 4th. Yeah. That'll be fun. Yeah. That'll be free, though. Come to that. Exactly. You don't need to buy tickets. Just hit us up. We'll give you free tickets. But the, the Helium is going to be fucking lit. That'll be helium fun. Helium will be fun. Because, I mean, you're going to be... I mean, dude, speak of legacies, dude. You're going to be headlining at Helium. I'll be worried gonna about be that, It's going to be a good though, turnout. Because it's going to be a lot of people that have heard all my material. It'll have, so that'll be in my head. Yeah, but you'll be flying off the cuff, having a good yeah, time, yeah, yeah. talking Classic, about the fact, the, the fact of what you're owed, dude. Finally. I mean, Finally dude, get my fucking comeuppance. Are they going to have flames on stage or no? I did request flames. <laughs> did you? <laughs> and the actual female comic flame. Really? <laughs> did you really I'm gonna request have her dance. <laughs> you should have her do like fake sign language during your whole I'm gonna set. I'm going to have a hula hooper. Have you tried juggler? Fucking, you can get that's going to be my opener. You can get shit lit. I'm just going to have different carnival freaks. <laughs> 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 and then I'm going to come on. That'll be tight. Oh, man. Yeah, go to that. You no, know, it's a Wednesday night. So that's that's when they give like the best headliners Wednesday nights. I mean, dude. Big time. It's a fucking proving grounds. It is. That'd be fun. It's time for me to I mean, gonna, It's going to be so nut. easy doing 45 yeah, minutes. Yeah, it'll be a fucking round. It'll yeah. be a blast. Hopefully. I have a few cocktails, get a little loose it'll with be the boys. C Doc will be there. I know that. Yeah, C I can count on him. <laughs> Maybe Frankson, dude. It'd be sick. Frankson? I don't know where Frankson is. Yeah, lives. I don't know where he's from. I don't know his geographic location. Maybe he's smart. Doesn't want us to know. But good fucking idea. Good move, Frankson. <laughs> don't put your name on the grid, your See address. That? You're off the grid, right? Eh, my grid's kind of scrambled and confusing. Yeah, I think so, too. <laughs> I think it is, for sure. No one knows what's going on. Um, yeah, I think that's it. That's I'm it, sure dude. I had things to that I wanted I forgot. Not a big deal. Yeah, dude. Fucking the dates. I can't think of anything else. This is about when people, I think, on Tune Apple out. started going, yeah, yeah right, but this, this, is, this is where you miss a lot of stuff, because we start to trail off here, and then there's usually yeah, somebody, will, true. somebody will hit a little encore here. Yeah. One of us will have a little fucking, uh, yeah, I don't know, know if I like that about that. You never know. But I think right now, we actually are hitting the brakes. Yeah, yeah we're done. I'm out. Goodbye. Uh, suck our dicks, everyone. Animus TV. Animus Canada. Praise the Lord, I was born to travel. Feeling like Slash in front of the chapel I'm lean back with the less pull